Dear viewers, thank you for choosing Manwa Compilation Channel. Enjoy watching. Silent hills in the clouds are full of secrets and surprises, but they are being monitored. Suddenly steps were heard. Two girls in elegant dresses and luxurious hair slowly approached Brian as he kept order. The beauties shyly turned to him. Brother, let me ask how we can get to the blue heart. Their eyes asked for help. The girls really didn't know the way. Brian had a choice. Each of them could give him something. The first option read, flirt with two girls, reward for completion, spiritual lobster pill, black phase pill. Option number two was, deliberate misdirection, reward for completion, alchemy ability, plus. Well, the third option, truthfully tell them the way to the blue heart hall, reward for completion, attractiveness, plus. The young man thought to himself with a grin, huh, another bonus option. He also mentally decided, the third option of course. Brian turned to the girls and honestly shared his knowledge. The road is ahead, go straight, turn right. Then you will see a rock that looks like a sheep. And in half an hour, you will be there. Thank you, see you soon, brother. The girls thanked them, giggling joyfully. Despite the fact that the young man was already handsome, after making his choice, his attractiveness gained plus. Everything was as stated. Brian reflected. Once you understand how the system works, it is very easy to use. So I'll continue to patrol the hills. My name is Brian, and I am a disciple of the Contemplation Sect in this mysterious world. As a time traveler, having a system is standard. He did not always have such confidence and reflection. But no matter how good the system is, you need to know how to use it. For example, at the very beginning I almost fell into a trap. He suddenly fell into memories. Five years ago, Brian was rubbing the floor with a dirty rag from some unpleasant people. He was pretty tired of it. This is wrong. I time-traveled three days ago. Why don't I still have a system? The gloomy aunt in a yellow kimono was indignant. What are you muttering there when I also told you to wash the floors? Would you like to eat and drink for free at my house? I have a dog to look after the house. Why do I need you? The eternally dissatisfied man shouted in the same tone. Brian was furious with what was happening. He threw the rag and shouted with all the anger from injustice. I was born to be the main character. From today I will no longer stay with you. The young man proudly left that hut. He left so purposefully that even his exploiters were stunned. And now he was sitting in the market square, looking at the food with a growling stomach. I'm so hungry, he thought, drooling. It was during this difficult period of fasting that a hand reached out to Brian with something tasty. He, seeing only food, heard, Eat, baby. It was an elderly man with kind eyes. Thank you, Master Dao, the young man exclaimed with gratitude. Do you know why I fed you when there are so many unfed children on the street? Asked the master in a mysterious and wise tone. The boy plunged into the food with a death grip and muttered through his teeth. I don't know, the man calmly replied. You have amazing bones and potential for martial arts. In less than three years, you will become the best of the young generation of the Li Hue sect. As soon as Brian heard this, a system window appeared in front of him, which offered the following. First option. Right now, say, Master, accept me as a disciple. Reward for completion. Xuan Firebody, Huang's highest rank. Second option. Say, I have never seen such a great person as the Master. May I know what the Li Hue sect is? Reward. Flame Blade, mid-rank Huan. Third option, politely refuse Master Tao's favor. Reward. Pull as one, random base attribute point. Our hero suddenly realized, aha! And here is the system. Combo of system bonuses, and the old patron and the system in one person. Having accepted the version of events for himself, he fell at the feet of Tao. Please accept me as a student. The reward in the form of the Xuan Firebody will be very useful in the Li Hu sect. Apparently the system is working for me, thought the young man with joy in his eyes. Comparing the options, he also thought to himself, the second option, the weapon is of course, good. But the technique of practice is more important. The old master took Brian by the hands. You can become my student, but first pass the test. I will definitely try to pass it, the young man exclaimed with hope. Okay, then follow me. Satisfied with the boy's answer, said Dao, and they set off to meet the coming test. A system window immediately followed with the message. 
The task of one of the options has been completed. The student's task has been received. The reward will be available upon completion of the task. Purpose of the task. Become a master student. Brian expected an instant reward for choosing. Hmm. So, the system does not immediately give a reward. It just starts the task. It doesn't matter. There's still a system. It's not scary. Master Tao led him to a wonderful place at first glance, Ling Mao Peak. This is where the training will take place, said the old man. The boy confidently exclaimed, I won't let you down. Brian, cultivation is the path of suffering and perseverance, and ore mining is the best way to demonstrate these qualities. If you persevere and pass the test of the mountains, I will accept you into the sect. Tao spoke in a wise voice, admiring the beauty of nature. Brian said enthusiastically, Master, I will try my best to repay your kindness. A man came out of the forest and took the guy with him. Dao watched them go and grinned. A day later, Brian's strength was already running low. He was too tired to dig further. The young man fell to his knees from exhaustion, when suddenly the man behind him said, Who told you to take a break? Do you still want to pass the test and get into the sect? The hero on his knees said with his soul, I really can't dig anymore. I'll make amends to the Tao Master, I'm sorry. In response, he received a powerful slap in the face. What a freak! The man who hit Brian shouted restlessly. The first few people who came fought for months for a place in the sect, and you gave up on the first day. I wasted my money. The young man lay on the ground from the blow, and did not understand what would happen next, and what the money had to do with it. The inadequate continued to yell and insult the hero, holding him by the hair. You are a useless piece of crap, not a genius who will just be accepted into the sect. Poking his finger in his face, he also added, Listen here, dig or I'll kill you, understand? Suddenly, the system presented new options to choose from. The first one suggested, continue lying down. Reward for completion, Green Lotus Secret Book, lowest rank DG. Second option, beg your opponent to let you off the mountain, reward, ground fire. Highest rank Xuan. Option number three. Get up and keep digging. Reward. Plus one random base attribute point. Our hero began to choose, wondering what was easier for himself. Having chosen the second option for himself, he began to say, Please. Before he could finish speaking, he received a long-range kick to the chest from his opponent, thus ordering him to get up and get to work. Brian, coughing up blood on the floor, realized that if he continued to resist, he would be killed. That sick bastard was about to swing again to strike, but the guy quickly answered, No, I choose the third option and I won't resist. I will dig, he shouted, trying to save his life. Okay, keep digging if you don't want to die, the man said menacingly. A system notification soon followed. Additional task completed. Reward. Constitution. Plus, he felt with incomprehension that his strength was being restored. Was the reward given out right away? Everything fell into place in his head. Damn it! I understood how this system works! The overseer moved towards the exit of the cave, restlessly shouting at the end, Let's get to work! If you mess around, I'll kick your ass! Brian, as planned, without resisting, got to work. He assumed that it was all a deception. It seemed to him that the better the reward, the more difficult the task. And the simplest reward is the safest, but is that true? Although the system did not give him any advantages, our boy was again tricked into digging coal in the mine, but now that he understood the essence of using the system, he could perfectly avoid dangers. Having gathered a crowd of like-minded people, one thing became clear. It was time to leave. The panel for the next selection immediately appeared. This time, there were four options. The first was to escape while the overseer was drinking and eating. Reward for completion. Finger-piercing tsunami. Lowest Xuan rank. The second is to quietly dig a passage to the outside of the mountain while working. Reward, purple gold hook in the shape of a tiger's head, highest rank Huang. The third option is to involve other workers who want to escape by discussing an escape plan. Reward, lotus armor, lowest rank Huang. And the last, fourth thing is to go to bed, because tomorrow we will dig again. Reward, 1-1 one, one random base, attribute a point. Before he had time to choose, suddenly one of the workers spoke to him. Brother. Do you want to run away together? This made the hero happy, because the third option came to him on his own. He considered the reward of Huang rank to be lower, which means it is not so dangerous. With a smile, he decided, I'll try. What are your plans, brother? 
he asked his colleague in misfortune. He, in response, invited him to follow him. A company of workers ate together around the fire, each sharing something of their own. One of the guys suggested running away during the watch of the overseer with a penchant for drinking, and more specifically, running away when he gets drunk. Brian really tensed up because all three options came together. Yes, this is certain death. I have absolutely no way with them, he thought to himself in time. What are your plans, new guy? One of the guys turned to him. Plan to relax and sleep. Our daredevil said unexpectedly to everyone. Having quickly finished everything, he blew himself up and left, choosing the fourth option for himself. Half a month later, something happened that could have befallen Brian. The overseer beat the boy who was trying to escape and made it clear to everyone that this fate awaits everyone who wants freedom. Our hero, looking at this terrifying picture with the rest of the workers, realized for himself that the system was warning him of all kinds of disasters. He just had to choose the rewards of the attributes. The injured fugitives had no choice but to continue working. They returned to duty with anger in their eyes and pain in their bodies. Unexpectedly for everyone, an explosion occurred somewhere nearby. This again presented Brian with a choice. Option 1. Stay where you are and don't move. Reward. Cloud splitting palm. Highest rank Huang. Option 2. Help put out the fire. Reward. Great spear of deadly gate. Lowest rank Huang. Option 3. Run away while everything is in chaos. Reward. Plus one random basic skill point. The young man was confused. Don't make a mess. Follow me to the fire. The overseer nervously shouted at his subordinates. At that moment, everyone listened attentively to the commander. But not our daredevil. He has already chosen the third option for himself, trusting the system. And he confidently moved away from the crowd. Heading to freedom, Brian suddenly came across one of the guards. They both froze for a second, because none of them expected this meeting. Bastard, how dare you run? The guard shouted. The man hit the young man for his impudence, and he fell. Already doubting the correctness of his choice, he lay there, covering his face from another blow, and was already saying goodbye to his life. Suddenly, Brother, are you okay? Someone asked Brian. He opened his eyes with fear and saw the lifeless body of the overseer lying at his feet. Squinting, he saw his savior, who, it would seem, without difficulty, knocked down the huge and furious guard. At this moment, the system reminded itself and offered options for action. Option 1. Shout, don't come any closer. Reward. Fire dragon's roar. Highest rank, Huang. Option 2. Continue running wildly down the hill. Reward. 13 sectional weapons. Juan's lowest rank. Option 3. Ask the warrior for salvation. Reward. Was 1. Random basic skill point. Great warrior. Save me. Brian, without much hesitation, grabbed the savior and begged for help. He did not expect such a violent reaction. Okay, I'll take you down the mountain. The noble man found the guy a little strange, because killing a man didn't make him afraid to ask for help in escaping. Leaning the boy on his shoulders, the savior wanted to take him home. But our beaten poor fellow said that at the moment he had no home, he was doomed to dig coal by deception. Why don't you return to my sect then? The man calmly suggested. Brian did not expect this, but happily agreed because the system did not fail. And here is that same sect that inspires more confidence than a coal mine. Our hero has already gotten a little used to it here. He even passed a qualified test. All he had to do was master the heart retrieval technique and the first sword technique in order to become a full-fledged disciple and gain the right to worship the sect. Brian was grateful for this opportunity and promised to study well in order to quickly become a student of the sect. Oh, so this is the path of practice. Opening the scroll, the young man said. How is this possible? What's happening? The first time he managed to master two techniques at once, and this caused shock and misunderstanding. He felt like a genius, because it was so easy. Now all I need to do is report it. The system notification window did not take long to appear. Option 1. Immediately say that you have mastered the technique. Reward. Overbearing Tiger Claw. Mid Schwan rank. Option 2. Continue studying in silence. Reward. Black Dragon Iron Spine Arrow. 20. Lowest rank Huang. Option 3. Do nothing. Reward. Pull as 1. Random base attribute point. The initiative is punishable, he thought, after reading all the options. He relaxed and lay down, deciding to choose the third option. It turns out that I need to lie low in order to enjoy the rewards of the system in the future, the young man reasoned calmly. Returning from his memories, 
Brian was sure that in this world, the most powerful is the one who is powerful and gets everything he wants. For five years now, he's been seriously practicing in the contemplation sect. The thought that thanks to the system, one could become the strongest person on the continent did not leave him. Stretching lazily, he did not bother with such ambitious goals. But the fact that the system jumped up when he was in the spotlight infuriated him terribly. Life was more valuable to him than awards and it was worth remembering. Returning to the sect, our hero noticed some kind of mess. Two disciples of the sect were arguing with each other over an overturned glass. The older student blamed the younger student for what he had done and definitely threatened him. How dare a newbie object to me? I'll teach you a lesson! The elder shouted furiously with a wave of his hand in the face of the frightened newcomer. Brian was already running with all his might to help the unfortunate man, attracting the attention of the crowd. The offender immediately turned to our brave man. I don't advise you to get involved in this. Mind your own business! But he was approaching them faster and faster. The newcomer did not understand whether he would be saved today or not. So he continued to hang in confusion in the clutches of the offender. And as always, by tradition, a system window with a choice appeared. Option 1. Protect your little brother and teach the bully a lesson. Reward. Mixed martial arts, Xuan middle rank. Option 2. Pay for big brother's drink. Reward. Thunder dart, low rank Xuan. Option 3. Walk quickly past with your head down. Reward. Fuak turn 1, random skill point. With the same speed as he ran to solve the problem of his brothers, Brian rebuilt the route to the exit, choosing the third option. The system instantly gave him plus one strength. The young man was pleased with himself. Today I will teach you a lesson. The quarrel between the guys near the overturned glass continued. What lesson are you going to teach him? They asked their older brother in a stern voice. The entire crowd of onlookers turned to the voice. It was the elder himself. Our hero happily stomped out of there because he saw the elder nearby, so he did not get involved in the showdown. He decided to eat alone, and for this he went to the city. Poor bastard, the seller thought when he saw Brian, because usually his order did not bring much profit. Set lunch and tofu, asked the young man. While waiting for the order, he counted his rewards. Plus two to strength, plus one to alchemy, plus one to phonetics, plus one to attractiveness, plus two to painting. Not all awards suited him, for example, his skill in painting generally embarrassed him. Brian, unexpectedly, an acquaintance of our hero came into the establishment. It was Brother Lewis. The young man was delighted at this meeting. You're having lunch alone again, a comrade noted. Lou joined a friend for dinner. He praised the pills that our hero made for him, because they helped him a lot. You've only been in the clan for a few years, but you've already achieved such success in alchemy. The young man's friend continued to admire. Brian knew that all this was thanks to the system, but he couldn't tell Lewis about it. So he said without giving away the secret. It's all thanks to my brother, who saved me from the mine. I'm glad I can help now. The interlocutor continued to praise the young man for his efforts and the successful completion of all test tasks. But Brian did not give in and blamed everything on luck and simple tasks. Brother Lou did not stop talking. I always see you walking around all day, but your skills in alchemy are growing quickly. Our hero had difficulty finding answers to such suspicious praise. Just silently embarrassed, he thought to himself, Yes, I'm cheating. But is it possible to live in this world without cheating? If anyone finds out about Brian's system, he will be used to obtain rare items. Even a good brother savior should not know about this secret. The hero had to fuss. You guessed right, brother. To be honest, I'm very stupid, so I have to work in secret. Louis clearly didn't have much faith in these excuses, because even if Brian didn't sleep every day, the likelihood of achieving such success in improving his skills is very small. The young man noticeably tensed from such observation of his friend. Suddenly, Lou leaned forward and said, Brian, I know your secret. The situation became tense. Fear appeared in the hero's eyes. Despite the internal panic, the young man calmly asked, Brother, what are you talking about? Lewis leaned towards his comrade's ear and whispered, You got your hands on something in the mines, but it's clearly not for cultivation. It is very difficult to hide something from my brother. Brian said with relief. His worries were in vain. The secret remained a secret. Brother Lou was confident that our hero would reach the top in alchemy, so he persistently proposed to send him to the Velvet Grass Hall. But Brian avoided answering such a proposal. I know about your indifference to fame and wealth, so I don't recommend what you don't like. The young man's friend continued to stubbornly insist. 
Brian was already sweating from confusion, because the system was completely silent, giving no clues. A little later, he headed towards the Blue Heart Hall from where pleasant music could be heard. The guy noticed the girl standing at the entrance and was slightly taken aback. As if she was waiting for him, she hurried with greetings. Amelia from the Mirror of Water Hall expresses respect to Brother Brian. The young man immediately realized that such a beautiful girl could expect a lot of problems. Sister, I'm afraid you're mistaken. My name is William. Brian lied, bowing and greeting. Amelia was confused, wondering how she could have made a mistake. She watched as the guy had already passed by. Brother Brian, Adam asked me to find you to play two games of Go with him. The younger brother shouted fluently, inappropriately. Our hero did not expect such a setup. Amelia realized that she was not mistaken. But just in case, I asked the younger one. Is this really Brother Brian? Without a doubt, he confirmed the identity of his older brother, who mentally already blamed him for his inexperience in recognizing horror in a beautiful girl. It's me. I was just joking a little with my sister. The hero scratched the back of his head in embarrassment. Brian asked to tell Adam that he would soon join the game in order to send his younger brother away. The young man asked for what purpose the girl visited the Blue Heart Hall. In three days I will go down the mountain for the first time and I ask you to help me with the test, Amelia explained. As soon as the beauty finished speaking, the system offered choices. Option 1. Say, no problem, of course. Reward for completion, Taiku Body and Qigong, mid-rank DG. Option 2. Ask what your sister's task is. Reward. Silent Grasp. Highest Rank Xuan. Option 3. Say you're busy and say goodbye. Reward. Buzz 1. Random Basic Skill Point. DG's rank is serious. The guy could only imagine what danger lurked in that choice. Sorry, sister. I'm very busy. Besides, Arthur is waiting for me to play Go. He can't handle it on his own. I leave you. Goodbye. Walking through the system, Brian said. Amelia did not expect such an answer because no one rejected her since childhood. Blushing, she began to think that this brother was very special. At the same moment, she stopped these stupid thoughts. Wait, don't go! I haven't finished talking yet, the girl shouted to the fleeing young man. But he, having received what's one to healing, very quickly gave up. And she had to rush after him. Sarah, stop this big brother quickly, don't miss it! Amelia shouted to her sister passing by. Sarah, thinking something bad about the boy, shouted angrily, You idiot! What did you do to my sister? It was not for nothing that he anticipated the danger of the reward of the DG rank. After all, even an ordinary conversation with a beauty led to trouble. Our hero tried to explain to the ardent sister that this was a misunderstanding, when she was already waving the blade at full speed. Sarah, don't be so rude. Brother Brian didn't do anything to me. Amelia shouted approaching them. Having caught up with him, she apologized for the trouble caused and asked him to still help because the test was very important for her. The crowd that gathered around them did not understand why Brian was making such a beautiful girl beg for help, because he was not so famous. Sorry, sister, but I have important things to do. I'm very busy. The guy continued to deny. Pathetic excuses? Are you really afraid? Sarah was indignant. In this situation, systemic options again had to be chosen. Option 1. How can I be afraid of this? Reward. Illusion Technique, Low Rank DG. Option 2, My Sister's Agitation Won't Work On Me. Reward, Sword of the Sun, Moon and Sky, Xuan Middle Rank. Option 3, Yes I'm Afraid, Reward, Pun 1, Random Base Attribute, Point. Another one with the rank of DG, Brian couldn't help but think that he was finished. That's right, I'm afraid, the hero said calmly. Sarah got furious in response to this. Let's go Amelia, she doesn't want to help. Let's find someone else. You are too harsh. You cannot blame a person for refusing. Perhaps he has a reason for this. The beauty shamed her stormy friend. An unknown shadow quickly passed over the guy's heads. This shadow was Brother Kai. Having looked more closely, Amelia recognized him. Onlookers asked each other in surprise whether this was Brother Kai, who three years ago single-handedly destroyed the rebel army to protect the people. After all, if so, then this is a truly outstanding person. Greetings to all of you from the Blue Heart Hall. I am Kai from the Water Mirror. The crowd responded with admiration to the greeting of such a respected brother. Big sister, I can help you with the upcoming test if you want, the public favorite politely suggested. Suddenly Sarah turned to her sister with a question. Where is he? Referring to Brian. 
Turning around, Amelia indeed did not see a trace of our hero. Brother, we have things to do. We'll talk another time. The girl cut off Kai's efforts, but he continued to humiliate himself. Sister, let me take you to the hall. However, there was no response. Brian sighed with relief, hiding in the bushes. After all, he managed to avoid the girls who terrified him. The older sister, in the middle of the night, masterfully played a sad melody on her instrument. The girl's mentor passed by. She noticed something was wrong in the student's state of mind. Noticing such an important person, Amelia jumped up, throwing the instrument and leaned in to greet the teacher. Your skill in playing the pipa is growing. Thanks to this, your thoughts are very easy to read. Tell me, dear, who dared to offend you? The mentor was anxiously interested. Amelia insisted that no one had harmed her. I just met a person who made me be attentive to people. The student answered thoughtlessly. The mentor asked with intrigue, Oh, and who is this man? Out of awkwardness, Amelia thought up on the fly. Oh, I didn't do my homework for the day. Goodbye, teacher. The girl was already sparkling with her heels a second later. But the mentor, seeing the student's unusual behavior, decided to check everything so that the little girl would not be deceived. The next day, Brian stretched lazily as he left the hall, but they were already waiting for him. He noticed a woman standing nearby. Tension had been haunting him for several days, so he did not know what to expect from such a significant figure. The young man tried to sharply change the route, but in vain, the mentor stopped him. Brian, where are you going? The guy began to fuss, saying he had found a way out of the deadlock, so he would like to go to the chess house. You don't even blush when you lie. You know who I am? Having caught the guy, the mentor asked. A lot also depended on the answer to this question, so the system offered options. Option 1. I don't know. Reward. Thunder Tyrant of Destruction. Low Rank Xuan. Option 2. I assume that you are the Keeper of May, the Hall of the Water Mirror. Reward. White Mist Sword. Mid Rank Huang. Option 3. It's very flattering to respond by emphasizing her beauty. Reward. Puadang 1. Random basic skill point. Our hero thought, because it would be easier, like everyone else, not to know much about the people from the outer halls. But not this time. There is no such a beautiful person in the entire contemplation sect. I believe you are Guardian May from the Hall of the Water Mirror. I have admired you for a long time. The flattery and knowledge of the higher strata of the outer halls surprised the woman. This is very insightful, but how do you know me? Asked the mentor, because she had never seen or known our guy before. I had the honor of listening to the great guardian play the lute. Your music is unique. I admire it. Without straightening up, the young man continued to be polite. These wonderful words touched the guardian to the depths of her soul. She clarified whether he was registered as a student in the Blue Heart Hall. Brian confirmed this but also emphasized that he had no talent for cultivation. The woman wanted to check him, so she asked him to give her his hand. Our hero was ready for this. The guy, kindly and without questions, extended his hand. Guardian May saw that he was really only at the fifth level of chi training. This discouraged her. After passing the sect test, even the least talented student can reach the tenth level of chi training within a year. But after five years of being in the contemplation sect, he is only on his fifth. This is worse than uselessness. Brian reasoned in his head that there was no point in being torn from combat power, because system points cannot be counted in this world, so his development is different from the rest. To himself, he was even proud that he could pretend to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mrs. May sighed heavily and let go of the young man's hand. I'm already very happy just to be part of the sect. Brian burst into tears. He played his role as it should. After such confessions, the woman made a conclusion for herself. Despite his mediocrity, the boy went through a lot in the sect, where talent decides everything, and perhaps even endured mockery. This touched her because the keeper of the subtle soul is human. Tell me, how do you manage to follow the trials of your brothers and sisters, becoming an iron seal for them? Mrs. May decided to change the topic. Brian answered, Caution is very important, thanks to it. I prevent many troubles. The woman praised the boy for correctly assimilating the essence of the knowledge given to him. But our hero blamed everything on his weakness, because it forces him to be more careful. As a sign of her trust, May decided to make Brian an iron seal for her favorite student to help with the test. Our hero was about to automatically accept everything the Guardian said, but suddenly it dawned on him. He did not understand how everything could turn out this way. 
The young man tried to figure out why, choosing the simplest scenario, he was still in the ass. Mrs. May, seeing the guy's confusion, asked, Don't you want to? The system window immediately opened in front of him. Option 1. Politely decline. Reward. Dragons destroying Gust. Highest rank, Xuan. Option 2. Lie and go play chess. Reward. Great Lotus Flower, lowest rank Huang. Option 3. Agree. Reward. Pause one random basic skill point. The hero did not understand what the hell was happening and had already come to terms with the end. Brian thought about it, going through each option. Suddenly he realized that the danger yesterday was not in Amelia's test, but in the appearance of Brother Kai. Of course not. The student is simply embarrassed by unexpected mercy. Brian agreed to the will of the keeper, thereby gaining plus one to phonetics. Then wait for me at the door of the law enforcement hall in two days. Summed up the mentor. Brian obediently accepted her will. Two days later, as agreed, the meeting took place at the appointed place. Mrs. May and her two favorites waited for the young man to come closer. Greetings to the protector, May. The hero bowed in greeting. The woman asked if the guy knew the girls behind her. Brian nodded and greeted Amelia and Sarah in the same way. Amelia was visited by a feeling of guilt, because the teacher forced the young man to come. The feeling of another person's hatred was new to her. The girl happily greeted the guy, apologizing for the trouble, and Sarah just coldly, without looking in his direction, muttered, Nice to meet my brother. Suddenly the guardian waved her hand and called someone else. Brian did not expect the formation to be replenished, so he was surprised. At the teacher's call, three mischievous girls came running. A large number of sisters did not bode well, and this frightened the hero. This is Big Brother Brian. Listen to him, okay? Mrs. May ordered. The disciples heard the instruction and accepted it. Emma, Ella, Ava from the Hall of the Water Mirror, we express our greetings to our brother. The girls took turns introducing themselves to the young man, bowing. He, with lustful thoughts but a calm face, answered, I'm glad to meet the three sisters. Guardian May turned to Brian with a request to take on a few more students because there are many girls in the water mirror hall, and they need a reliable older brother. The hero expressed understanding and agreed, despite the fact that it was crazy. The triplets immediately attacked the young man with a lot of questions about him and his preferences. Quiet! Don't talk or move until I tell you to. Brian cut off the chatter of the girls. They froze and fell silent from unexpected severity. Do you now agree to help us? Why did you chicken out that day? Sarah said without ceremony. Our hero was not at a loss with the answer. That was then, but now since I am responsible for you and am accompanying you, you will obey my orders. But Sarah continued to be rude without restraining herself. What if I don't want to? Brian, with an incredibly menacing look, looking straight into her soul, suggested trying to disobey. The girl was noticeably frightened, but could not understand why. The strong aura of the newly made mentor made all the girls freeze. You will obey me on my command, do you understand? Brian dictated arrogantly. Everyone happily accepted the rules, except Sarah. He terribly infuriated her. The hero ordered the girls to put on more ordinary outfits and returned to him in half an hour, promising to deduct two points for being late. Sarah rebelled. Why is our freedom of choice of outfits limited? With a calm face and calm tone, the young mentor said, First, if you want to say something, ask permission. Otherwise, I will take away the point. Secondly, the outfits should be simple for camouflage and blending in with the crowd at the test. Sarah was embarrassed by the reprimand in such a tone. Can I choose clothes made of rough fabric or linen? Amelia asked the young man. Brian snorted menacingly, saying he forbade asking questions without permission, and removed a point from her, threatening to remove two more if she forgot the rules. Amelia lovingly admired the severity of the hero, because even her father did not reprimand her. This feeling visited her for the first time. Sarah was literally torn by such a tone. She really wanted to stand up for her sister, but she forbade interfering, admitting her guilt. The sharp-tongued girl fell silent, looking at Amelia with incomprehension. Let me tell you. The beauty in love immediately corrected herself. While Sarah still could not accept the command of our hero and his stupid rules too, Brian gave Amelia permission to speak. The girl repeated the question of clothing because she had neither linen nor coarse fabric. The young mentor explained that elegant fabrics would not allow them to blend in with the crowd of ordinary people in coarse fabrics, and this was not safe. The triplets also joined the conversation. Allow me to say, everyone called themselves names at once. The young man agreed. Each of the trio began to ask about their own, some about hats, 
some about style, some about straw sandals. By the way, the questions were asked simultaneously. Brian, in a weary tone, ordered to wear clothes of a common style, and he had preparations for shoes and hats, and sent the beauties to change clothes. When the girls left, he just exhaled heavily. Even though beautiful girls are dangerous and difficult to control, clothes should cover their conspicuous beauty. Brian thought calmly while sipping his drink. At this moment the girls returned. Their appearance would have knocked the most fastidious womanizer off his feet, because only the sun was more beautiful. Our hero already choked on his drink. No outfit can hide such beauty. The young mentor thanked the sisters for their punctuality. He asked them to put on sandals, a hat, and protective cloth. Sarah didn't like this. She swore that even despite the teacher's words, she would no longer ask Brian to accompany her. All the proposed attributes protected from the heat. Amelia thanked her brother for his concern. Having put all this on herself, the girl could not understand what was happening to her. Ah, is this an illusion? Brian saw his sister's reaction. He knew that the concealment formation was working smoothly, and the aura was greatly weakened. Let me tell you, the triplets shouted together again but the hero allowed only one to speak. Ella, holding the fabric in her hands, asked what it was and what it was for. The young man only repeated that this was a fabric for protection from the heat. He was surprised by his ignorance of the basics. But the girl looked at the fabric with big, surprised eyes and did not understand how it even worked. Brian understood that these ladies were different from ordinary people, but he didn't think that they were so... Just put the cloth on your face and you'll understand everything, he instructed. Ella followed the instructions. She was delighted with the new element of her wardrobe. And besides, the fabric smelled very pleasant. Emma and Eva also noticed the wonderful aroma of the fabric when they put it on their faces. Amelia, like the others, smelled the incense. Let me say, the girl said embarrassedly. Brian agreed. The beauty asked about the scent. She was interested in why the fabric smelled so wonderful. The young man could not resist and boasted of his own invention. This is my infusion of a hundred flowers. It helps to refresh the mind. The triplets could not resist, and one in front of the other climbed up with questions about the invention to the mentor. Brian coughed disapprovingly, reminding him of the rules. The talkers immediately fell silent, covering their mouths with their hands. The hero told about all the benefits of his honey, and promised to give it to the sister who would cope best with the test. The triplets were the most happy. They went to the control room to take tasks for testing, and along the way they met the right person. Brian greeted an acquaintance who began asking about the purpose of the parish. This is Brother Chen, a very experienced master who is responsible for conducting tests and checking the fairness of scoring. The hero introduced his sudden travel companion to his girls. All the girls as one greeted Elder Brother Chen. Chen was a little surprised at so many beauties behind his brother's back. Chen from the Hall of Ten Thousand Swords, glad to meet you. He responded to the sister's greeting with a bow. Brother Chen, please give us a test task, our hero politely asked. He agreed and asked to follow him. The task seen by the older brother was to explore a village, or rather a village, in which several child abductions took place. This student understood everything. Brian accepted the task. Market, traders here offer all kinds of delicacies that intoxicate the mind and stomach. Our group passed by, carefully examining everything. One of the triplets asked permission to contact their mentor, who allowed it. I want to eat this bun with peas, the girl said, drooling. Brian asked how much would satisfy her. The girl did not expect that he would take such care of their food. She even began to consider him quite reasonable. Having finished thinking, she agreed to two buns. The young mentor asked the others. The beauties gladly agreed to the treat. He approached the owner of the bakery and asked the price. The young man was satisfied with the price. Handing over the money, he ordered eight buns. Eve, because of the delicious aroma, already wanted to eat the yummy food. She even took off the cloth from her face. Take your time. We will eat when we get to the inn, so cover your face. Brian said, moving the buns away from them. The girl immediately stopped considering him reasonable. Forward. Like a real leader of the pack, the hero led the beauties. A large number of people scared Sarah, but people didn't notice them at all. She realized that this was the merit of her older brother. How he did it is not clear, but the girl was happy with everything so far. Suddenly their attention was attracted by some bustle of the locals. A gang of men demanded money from a poor merchant who was barely making ends meet. The merchant did not understand where he could get the money because he already gives almost everything to the government for rent. So he was indignant. The racketeers were not satisfied with such a swing of rights, so they beat the poor fellow for disobedience. Sarah, seeing this chaos, was already ready to restore order and punish the bastards. 
At the same second, a system window appeared. Option 1. Help the stall owner. Reward? 5 Blessings Breathing Technique, Middle Xuan Rank. Option 2. Ask other merchants about the cause of the incident. Reward? Soul Stealing Finger, Mid Rank Huang. Option 3. Stay away from here. Reward? Plum 1 Random Basic Skill Point. Brian immediately stopped the girl, choosing the third option. Sarah was surprised, because the duty of the Contemplation Sect is to fight for justice. Your teacher entrusted you to me. I will teach you to perform noble deeds and defend justice on the Xuanlong continent, said the young mentor. But the girl again considered him a coward. Amelia assured her sister that they had little experience. So it was better to listen to Brother Brian. The rebel, as always, was not happy with this, but had to accept it. The young man led them further, because it was not safe to stay in the market for a long time. Amelia joyfully walked behind her role model, leading the stubborn girl behind her. Meanwhile, the triplets were gossiping, whether their mentor was a weakling or simply hiding well. Curiosity entered their thoughts, because the brother differed from the others in his reluctance to show himself. A little later, the system gave the hero plus one to blacksmithing. Servant, are there any places left? Brian asked, leading the beauties behind him. The servant did not immediately understand when they all arrived. He simply did not notice because of work. Nevertheless, he offered the guests different types of rooms, because there were enough places. The system did not stand aside here either. Option 1. Check into the Heavenly Room. Reward. 18 characters of the ruined city. Highest rank Xuan. Option 2. Move into the Earthly Room. Reward. Qingming Sword. Highest rank Huang. Option 3. Move into a Human Room. Plus one random base attribute point. Is attribute. Brian liked that from the moment he entered the city, the system generously offered choice. The hero chose the third option, and the servant politely escorted them to them. The ladies were a little embarrassed by the quality of the living conditions. The system window reappeared. Option 1. Tell the servant to leave. Reward. Sweeping away thousands of armies. Highest rank Huang. Option 2. Reward the servant with coins. Reward. Plus 1. Random base attribute point. Brian gave him coins, to which the hard worker reacted joyfully and allowed him to call him at any time. The hero received a plus one to spirit for completing. Let me tell you, your sick, the triplets called themselves. Brian allowed them to talk without asking for permission. A lot of questions immediately started pouring in about the hotel room, because the young ladies were not used to squalor. It seemed like a punishment to them. Did any of the sisters go out on their own before? Asked the young mentor. Amelia shared that she used to only go out accompanied by her older brother. The triplets went out only with a retinue of 50 people, a servant and a carriage. Brian was not surprised, because they are not socialized. Even their teacher herself was looking for an accompanying person for such a difficult occasion. He asked the girls if their families would send experts to protect them this time. But the girls did not warn their families about the test outside the mountains. The hero tensed, because all the responsibility for the beauties is on him. If something happens, he will obviously have problems. But despite this, he decided to offer them something to eat. The girls attacked the food with incredible appetite. Only Sarah refused to eat the buns bought by her cowardly brother. Sister Sarah, restoring justice does not mean mindlessly waving a sword. The young man calmly responded to the rudeness. But the rebel did not agree with his point of view. You don't know who they work for. It's naive to think that you will win and leave unscathed on their own territory. The hero continued to explain. You're just a coward, and I can answer for my actions, the restless sister shouted. Brian was leading to the fact that among the masters, there are bastards who oppress the people. They work for the tigers, and may well begin to take revenge for any wrongdoing in their direction. The girl still made brave speeches, saying that she would fight them herself if necessary. Brian wanted to tell her who was behind those three from the market, but Sarah did not want to listen. She capriciously covered her ears with her hands. But the hero was pleased with this reaction, because it meant that she understood everything. All that was left was to wait until she accepted that he was right, and the facts. Brian happily stomped around the market and waited for the next offers of the system. He accidentally witnessed one of those racketeers ordering meat from a merchant. The merchant politely handed the meat to the man and announced the price. But it looks like he wasn't going to pay right away but promised to pay at the end of the month. The merchant, fearing this man, barely found the courage to say that the same thing happened last month. The scoundrel flew into a rage. You don't trust me, eh? The system is right there. Option 1. Help restore justice. Reward. Heavenly Wolf Sword. Highest rank Huang. Option 2. 
Strike from the shadows to punish the villain. Reward. Buddhist monk's cap. Middle rank Huang. Option 3. Stay put. Reward. Plus 1. Random skill point. Praising the system, Brian chose the third option. The racketeer left, and the merchant breathed a sigh of relief. The poor guy was upset because he didn't know how to continue working. But suddenly, he heard another order for a kilogram of pork. He happily asked our hero what part of the meat he should put. Brian ordered neck meat and pig ears. The shop owner kindly handed the order to the young man. The guy gave him a yellow bag with payment in return. The man wanted to count the contents of the bag, but before he could take it in his hands, our hero had already left without a trace. Opening the bag, the merchant saw silver. It was very generous, so he was a little taken aback by the unexpected kindness. Usually the shop owner remembered the customer's faces, but the benefactor's face could not. This seemed strange to him. Brian was pleased with his action because times were turbulent. Help is always welcome. Two days later, our hero caught himself thinking that the system had been giving him tasks very generously lately. Thoughts are more material than ever because the system window has arrived again. Option 1. Return to the hotel and go to bed. Reward. Stellar shift. Mid-rank DG. Option 2. Once again instruct the sisters not to disperse. Reward. Fist of a crane. Catching a golden snake. Juan middle rank. Option 3. Go to the hotel entrance and observe secretly. Reward. Pull one random skill point. He was amazed at the possible danger of making the wrong choice. Therefore, the choice was obvious. The third option. A little later, the young man saw his rebel sister leaving the hotel. This girl is a real-time bomb, he thought to himself. The system reminded itself. Option 1. Drag Sarah to the hotel. Reward. Green Cloud Dance. Highest rank, Schwan. Option 2. Let the girl know about you and go to your room. Reward. Divine Spear Swallowtail. Option 3. Follow her quietly. Reward. One random skill point. The young man chose the third one. As always, our hero moved in dashes like a shadow, secretly accompanying the rebel. Cries for help were heard from the alley. Coming closer, Sarah saw a man holding a woman in his arms. She immediately rushed to punish the scoundrel. The dispenser of justice took out a sword and was ready to defend the honor of the victim. The man was already shining his heels when he saw such aggression. Sarah was pleased with the result, so she calmly hid the sword. The victim suddenly rushed after the man, begging him not to leave and to pay for the intimacy. Our heroine did not immediately understand what was happening. The woman called Sarah sick, so there was no point in expecting gratitude from her. The girl did not understand why her good deed caused such anger. Brian just laughed behind the wall. Sarah screamed with anger, saying that the woman infuriates her even more than the spineless mentor. Our hero was amused that she even remembered him here. Suddenly the girl was distracted by a pleasant smell. Despite the hunger, she gathered all her will into a fist because her goal was different. On her way, the rebel met an elderly woman gasping from pain in her legs. She immediately rushed to help the old woman and put her on her feet. The old woman complained about her difficult fate. But this did not bother the girl because she was ready to do anything for the sake of a good deed. I don't know you and we're not related, so you want to help me? Do you want to take my money? The woman asked sadly. But our fearless girl explained that her intentions were good. You have a very kind heart, grandmother said tenderly. Sarah asked about her well-being, and the woman immediately told her about her sorrows, about her evil daughter-in-law, about problems with her legs and lodging for the night. The girl was infuriated by this. She asked the old woman to take her to her daughter-in-law in order to restore justice. The grandmother begged not to do this, because the daughter-in-law is a very angry person. But the sword in the hands of the rebel showed that there was nothing to be afraid of. The old woman thanked heaven for such a helper and they set off. Brian understood that this kind of divorce was very common. He was surprised that there were those who did not know about it. They approached the house at night. Sarah knocked on the doors loudly and with all her anger. A furious woman ran out screaming at the sound. Evil woman! Today I will seek justice for this granny! The Avenger spoke to her daughter-in-law. The woman did not understand why the old woman was giving her signals, because she did not immediately notice the girl. The old woman whistled behind her, this was that secret sign. And the woman insisted that their lives did not concern strangers. Sarah could not stand such impudence and took out a sword. Come on, cut me right in the neck since you dare to threaten me. The daughter-in-law responded to the insolence. The neighbors reacted negatively to the noise under their windows and were indignant. A servant came out of the house excitedly. He was worried about the excitement of his neighbors. He bowed to the elders and asked to continue the conversation inside the house so as not to disturb anyone. 
The old woman also insisted on going into the house. The girl, citing prudence, agreed. The servant let everyone through and looked around as if fearing witnesses. Brian, standing on the roof, watched what was happening. He felt another mysterious person, but did not understand how in the ranks of such an insignificant gang of swindlers, there could be such a strong person. While heading into the house, Sarah felt weak in her legs. She suddenly remembered Brian's instruction. If you feel weakness in your legs, run without hesitation, because this is the effect of incense. Run or prepare to die. Are you going somewhere? The man asked the girl, who with all her strength stood up. She broke through the wall and ran out, not even really seeing where. A crowd of men gathered in the backyard, wanting to capture the rebel alive. She tried to embody her sword, but she no longer had enough strength for this, so it was not as powerful as before. The girl attacked one of those people. She managed to knock him down. The victim did not understand why, after the incense, she was still so strong. This girl is not so simple, get out of the way! One of them called out to the gang. Suddenly he was approached and it became clear that he was the boss, Boss Ian. Sarah decided that if she fished for the leader of the group, there would be a chance to escape. The girl rushed into the attack with all her might, but Ian only easily dodged on the move. With the handle of the sword, he stabbed her in the stomach. The rebel, twisted in pain, did not understand why her desire to help turned into such horror. The system window was not long in coming. Option 1. Go down and kill all the baddies. Reward. 14th step of 24 Taijiquan styles, Xuan middle rank. Option 2. Shout loudly to attract the night guards. Reward. Steel-tipped spear, mid-rank Huang. Option 3. Save Sarah without harming the villains. Reward. Plus. One random attribute point. Brian thought about how to implement the third option. Having carried out a cunning trick, the young man disappeared. The villains made fun of the poor girl, admiring the boss and his dexterity. One of them was about to tie up the exhausted beauty with mockery. She cried from hopelessness and begged for help. Suddenly, there was a powerful explosion that mowed down everyone around. The villains hesitated due to lack of understanding of what was happening. Boss Ian found his abilities blocked because he couldn't reach the blade. The leader of the Yellow Gang only powerlessly asked for forgiveness from the Elder. When the smoke cleared, they discovered the girl had disappeared. We touched the one we should have. Fortunately, the Elder, out of respect for our gang, did nothing, otherwise we would have been dead. Ian shouted with fear in his eyes. The leader of the gang ordered his accomplices not to leave for the next two days until he found out which sect experts had come to the city. Sarah came to her senses and found that her brother Brian had saved her. She wanted to tell him something. But the young mentor ordered her to remain silent, because she was under the influence of incense. He will be able to cure her only in a safe place. The girl caught herself thinking that she had disobeyed her brother in vain, because it was because of her pride that she found herself in this position. Closing her eyes, the beauty only quietly apologized. Waking up from sleep, Sarah still could not get over the nightmares, so she screamed. Amelia sensitively supported her sister, because there was nothing to be afraid of. Everything was fine. Sarah was very happy with her sister. With tears in her eyes, she rushed into her arms. Brian heard their voices and entered the room. He asked the rebel to extend her hand. Sarah was embarrassedly thinking about her brother's beauty at this moment. The young mentor discovered that the incense was free of toxic substances and gave the girl an elixir that cleanses the soul. He also asked me to take this medicine and rest in order to get back on my feet faster. The rebel thanked him for everything and, admitting her guilt, asked for forgiveness. The system window appeared in front of the hero again. Option 1. Say that everything is fine and he is not offended. Reward. 10 absolute divine flares. Lowest DG rank. Option 2. Be glad that she realized her mistake and force her to accept his wisdom. Reward. Water fortune telling notes. Highest rank Xuan. Option. Say that her apology makes no sense because he was nearby and was waiting for his sister to take a sip of grief. Reward. She won random skill point. It was cruel. But the young man made a choice. There is no need to admit your guilt to me. I followed you from the very beginning. I just wanted to make you take a sip of grief. The young man said, relying on the third option. Sarah did not expect to hear this. Take your medicine and in two hours we will hit the road. The hero added coldly, leaving the room. Sarah asked her sister if she was really annoying, but Amelia insisted that she loved her more than anything in the world, and there was no reason for such thoughts. The rebel, with tears in her eyes, continued to admit her guilt. She was offended that despite her good intentions, she was hurt. 
Amelia praised her sister for learning from her mistakes and handed her the medicine. The girl drank it. The medicine had a pleasant taste and smell. Sister Amelia decided to stay close. The girls admired their brother among themselves because the man who attacked Sarah had the power of Schwan. But despite this, the mentor easily managed. Yes, brother is amazing. With these words, the rebel fell asleep sweetly. A couple of hours later, it was time to leave. Has the weakness gone? The hero asked the rebel. The girl confirmed the absence of weakness and praised the medicine, which helped her a lot. As soon as they decided to continue on their way, an excited man burst into the hotel. It was Master Kim, he approached the servant. He menacingly tried to explain to the worker that now he would have to answer all questions honestly. Master Kim asked if there were any clan members on the list of recent arrivals, but the poor fellow only remembered six guests in straw hats who left today. The master demanded to tell what they looked like, but the younger one could not remember it. The master realized that the formation had been used, and it seemed that he was on the right track. Remember anything else, or I'll kick your ass. The boy suddenly remembered that that master awarded him coins. Kim asked to see them. The servant showed his palms on which the coins lay. They began to count them and examine them. Taking one coin, Master Kim suddenly discovered that it was Duanap Ruixiang, the three treasures of Huainan. Our brave disciples of the Contemplation Sect were still looking for the way to their destination. The girls were in front, and Brian just watched. I clearly follow the map. Why did we make a mistake again? Amelia asked in bewilderment. Sarah decided to take everything into her own hands. But unfortunately, she didn't understand a thing. She was about to ask the triplets for help but they refused because they had never even held a map in their hands before. The young mentor quietly sipped his drink, waiting to continue. After all, he warned them that the rest of the journey depended on them, since they should learn to read the map and know the road. Sarah suggested that the girls ask their older brother for directions, but the triplets were afraid of running into another portion of rudeness from the young man. The triplets had already asked him many times, so they were sure of his skepticism. Amelia volunteered to go. No, sister, he will scold you! Sarah was indignant, but Amelia wanted this. His rudeness brought her extreme pleasure. Having asked to wait for her, the beauty went to her older brother. The triplets admired her courage because now, if anything happens, she will shovel it off. Amelia approached him, but the young man was ready for questions about direction. The mentor suggested the best way to learn to read a map is to draw it. After all, if you understand how the map was compiled, then it's easier to read it. To do this, he gave the girl a book that was supposed to help. She joyfully accepted the book and thanked her brother. When Amelia had sorted things out a little, Brian suggested moving on in search of a road. The girls approached a cliff, from which a small settlement could be seen. Sarah was delighted that they finally managed to find Jifu village. Amelia only added that it was thanks to the book that her brother Brian gave her. She kindly showed her sister the book. The triplets were also impatient and wanted to look at the book for drawing maps. Amelia assumed that the young man wrote it himself. She asked the hero what to do next. But Brian asked them to think about a plan of action on their own and share it with him. Sarah suggested asking the locals how all these children disappeared and thus finding out everything. The triplets agreed with her. The young mentor just shook his head negatively. With this you will scare away the snake. The ladies did not understand what he meant. Brian explained that excessive attention to events will make the villains fall silent and stop their crimes for some time. But how can we investigate if we don't ask? asked Amelia. The hero suggested waiting for the next crime to catch the villains in the act. And so it happened, in the middle of the night, the silhouette of a man jumped onto the roof of the house, in which there was a child. He threw some mind-stupefying smoke out the window. Five minutes later, the thief was already holding a sleeping baby in his arms. Our heroes saw everything and decided to follow him. The thief's tracks led them to the forest. Brian suddenly realized that the thief's aura had disappeared. Looks like we're in formation, so be careful, the young man warned. Could that thief create a formation? This really was so. That's why he ran out of her so easily and quickly. Sarah suggested finding the right way to get out of the formation. Brian praised the beauty for her correct thinking. The girl was touched by this. She did not expect to hear a compliment from him. They separated for efficiency, because the thief actually created a nine yan formation that hides from the world, but not a large one. The hero found a suitable stone in the grass and picked it up. He threw it into the distance with all his strength so that he could see the boundaries of the formation. The second of the triplets was sure that she had fallen into a trap and that they were trying to kill her. But the mentor did not see this as a terrible threat, so he simply ordered him to be careful. Ella was already determined to be harmed by a powerful hidden weapon, so the young man's answer did not suit her much. 
Emma asked her sister to be careful, because it was dangerous here. Brian took out a frog-shaped bag and tried to shake something out of it. Suddenly Sarah heard a strange sound and decided to ask her older brother about its origin. I don't know. Probably these are the souls of the dead. The ghost is ringing the bell, answered the young mentor. Sarah, hearing about the ghosts, began to scream and beg on her knees for protection. Brian was amused in his thoughts, saying that such a piece of ice was afraid of ghosts. The system offered options. Option 1. Go up and hug Sarah to calm her down. Reward? Crushing Star Dragon Palm. Mid-rank DG. Option 2. Say that there are no ghosts in this world. Reward? Move and change shape. Mid-rank Huang. Option 3. Make fun of Sarah for being afraid. Reward? One random skill point. Sister Sarah, you're a coward. And before that you behaved so chivalrously. <laughs> Without hesitation, the young man chose the third option. The girl instantly forgot about her fears and began to get angry. The hero continued to pour out the contents of the bag, counting out the required amount. Suddenly the third sister of the triplets, Eva, appeared. She seemed to have lost her route. Although she initially walked in the opposite direction from the sisters, their paths were not supposed to cross. One of the triplets felt dizzy. Her other two sisters also felt unwell. In a split second, the three sisters lay motionless on the grass, unconscious. The formation was not very powerful. But for sisters with low cultivation, it was enough. Brian was about to destroy the formation, so he left them lying there. Closing his eyes, he cast a spell to destroy the trap. A sign of the balance of good and evil in the world appeared. The hero concentrated. Destroy! He shouted with all his might, directing his force around the perimeter of the trap. He froze, waiting for the result. Having dug a little, he found the base of the formation with his finger and concluded that the thief was rich. This is a low-quality gold spiritual stone but not every ordinary person can afford it. Interesting, Brian said, holding the base in his hands. Having destroyed the formation, he noticed that only Amelia remained in consciousness. She was probably born with a body of three Yanas, and the sect was lucky to get a student with such willpower. He handed her a pill that gave her strength. She obediently swallowed the medicine. This pill is gentle in taste, and quickly gives strength to the spirit. The girl admired. Brian ordered the beauty to find and wake up Sister Sarah. In the meantime, he will find the others. Seeing the triplets on the ground, he was surprised, because they even fell in the same position. He took out incense that restored consciousness and sprayed it near the sisters. The girls woke up, but could not figure out what was happening. Brian ordered them to take healing pills. They were confident in his medicines, so they accepted them without hesitation. Let me say, Ella suddenly called herself. The hero was amazed that she still remembered his rules and allowed her to speak. Elder brother, were you the one who destroyed the formation? The sister asked admiringly. But Brown got out of it, saying he doesn't even know how formations are created, and perhaps it somehow collapsed on its own. The girls clearly didn't believe him, because they weren't stupid enough to fall for such nonsense. After making sure that everything was fine with the girls, the mentor suggested moving on. After the path was clear, the young man saw a cave and assumed that the thieves were hiding here. These thieves inside are no match for you, so do it. Having checked the energy of the villains, Brian said to his sisters, Our brave beauties rushed to destroy justice with all their might. From the cave only the cries of the thieves for mercy could be heard. The girls, having completed their work, reported to their elder brother. Seeing the immobilized villains, Brian praised the girls. Amelie brought the leader of the group to her brother. The young man ordered the others to be tied up. The girls were carried away by the task, and ran as fast as they could to carry out the order. If you want to kill me, do it, go ahead, shouted the leader of the group of villains. But Brian only calmly assured him that there was no hurry. The thief was confused because he did not understand what he wanted from him. Send me to the government for a reward, why are you sitting? The bound one said excitedly. But Brian, as before, was in no hurry. Since you were able to come here, does that mean you destroyed the formation? The thief still didn't stop talking. Brian was amused in his thoughts, because usually if you force a villain to speak, he is silent like a fish. But you just have to show composure and, voila, have you established this formation? Very impressive, our hero said slyly. The thief caught his finest hour for bragging and said that if not for the lack of material, they would not have been able to get out of the trap. Brian continued to feed the pitiful nature of the braggart and asked, Where did you learn this? But I won't tell you. The thief suddenly objected, counting on pleas to tell. But our hero agreed to his silence, which infuriated the thief extremely. Shouldn't you be asking questions or making a deal with me? The tied-up boy was nervous. 
Are you teaching me what to do? Brian continued the psychological violence. The leader of the group of villains has already begun to bargain. They say he will tell where he learned it in exchange for freedom. But the young mentor put further pressure on the boy's pride, rejecting information about what he easily destroyed. You don't understand. This is the soul-suppressing minor Yijing formation. If it is fully established, then even Emperor Xuan will not escape the trap. So says the book. The thief continued to chatter. He dug up the book when he was plundering tombs. It is very valuable. The guy promised to give her in exchange for freedom. But our hero continued to pretend that he was not interested. Sister Ameli returned to report that all the thieves were tied up and Brian was ready to leave. But the leader of the group of villains immediately revealed that the formations in that book were very powerful, and even revealed that it was located at the back of the hill. Our hero was pleased with his psychological trick, not surprising, such as human nature. Brian sent Amelia to the authorities of the nearest city of Zebe so that they would take away the thieves. He asked if the girl remembered where the city was. Surprisingly, the girl remembered everything. The young man was surprised how, with such an amazing memory, the beauty could not remember what he taught her. He ordered the rest of the ladies to stay and watch until he returned. Suddenly, children's voices were heard from the depths of the cave. Brian, who found them, entrusted the girls with taking care of the kids. How did you know where we kept the children? The thief asked discouraged. Why should I tell you this? The hero answered calmly. He was shocked, because usually people tend to brag about their achievements in order to show their advantage. But our young man did not follow the routine. Hey boss, aren't you wondering where I sold the other children? With a desire to bribe, the thief said to Brian. But the hero only corrected him with contempt. You wanted to say gave away, right? This really infuriated the leader of the villains, because not everyone has access to such information. Who the hell are you? He shouted. Brian politely, but with a grin, introduced himself. Van Lau of the Contemplation Sect. Since you know that I work for Xu Lo Jai, why do you need to get involved in this matter? The thief continued to reveal the cards. Brian was pleased with himself, because now he knew who was involved in this. The system provided options. Option 1. Continue and further dig for information. Reward. Tiangang Ghost Seal. Lower Xuan Rank. Option 2. Tell the guards about Xu Luo Jai. Reward. Shattered Heavenly Claw. Mid-Rank Huang. Option 3. Tell the sect about Xu Luo Jai. Reward. Plus. One random special skill point. The young man was delighted with the special glasses and chose the third option. Sarah asked who Xu Luo Jai was. Brian answered according to the system. Demon worshippers. This shocked Sarah because she thought that people from the demonic sect were eating these children. But Brian refuted this nonsense because they just need the next generation. Parents do not want to voluntarily give their children to this sect, so they were taken away. Many things in this world are not as simple as they seem. Everything cannot be divided into good and evil. The young man enlightened the girl's mind. The system has left options. Option 1. Compliment Sarah. Reward. Yao Heavenly Wind Banner. Lowest Rank Huang. Option 2. Nod in support and say take your time learning. Reward. Xuan Shi Blade. Xuan Middle Rank. Option 3. Mock her for being slow-witted. Reward. Plus 1. Random basic skill point. Did you understand what I'm trying to convey to you? Take your time in your studies? The young man laughed and mocked. Yes. Even though I'm not very smart, the girl was already angry. Options have appeared again. Option 1. Console Sarah saying he was joking and she is very smart. Reward. Earth Star Crack, DG Low Rank. Option 2. Pat her on the head and say that she will learn gradually. Reward. Fire Martial Art, Highest Rank Xuan. Option 3. Say it's good that she accepts her shortcomings. Reward. Pause 1. Random Base Attribute Point. Although it is cruel, he said the third option. He added the skill of cooking. It was easy for him because mocking his sister is still a pleasure. Against the background of a girl seething with anger, the leader of a gang of villains tried to push his life story. Brian continued to invalidate his words. Oh, you... I'll tell you anyway. The poor fellow was furious. By that time, the guards had already arrived and captured the villains. The guards thanked the heroines for helping people and asked them to taste a feast in their honor. Sarah quickly and politely refused, citing important matters and took the sisters away. The guards only saw them off with lustful glances because you don't see such beauties every day. Their leader quickly covered their mouths and sent them to work. And he himself secretly hoped to meet Amelia in a dream. 
Sister Amelia could not understand why there was such a rush, but Sarah only referred to Brian's order. The young mentor insisted not to mess with the guards, because they are worse than thieves. Amelia still could not understand how people of justice could be worse than villains. You will find out about this later, but for now, do what I tell you. The young man gave instructions. The sisters listened to his opinion. Our hero decided not to stay at a hotel, but to set up camp in the forest. The girls obediently accepted this. The beauties began to set up a tent and a bigger one so that everyone could fit in. An hour later, they still had not managed to securely secure the tent. Eve suggested that Amelia ask her older brother for help. Amelia was about to go, but Emma stopped her, taking on the difficult mission of asking for help. The girl secretly in love insisted that she would go herself, but Sister Emma was determined and went. Her sisters almost forcibly stopped Amelia. The belt allowed the girl to figure it out on her own. The girl agreed not to interfere, but she really wanted to receive instructions from her older brother once again. Sitting by the fire, they praised their brother for the delicious food and thanked him. Eva even asked to teach them how to cook this way. Brian promised to teach them everything if possible, but for now they need to sleep. They thanked him again and wished him good night. The hero remained on duty. The girls, left without a mentor, discussed his talents. He set up a tent, but he seemed to be good at everything. They also wondered if he could have destroyed that formation yesterday. Sarah was sure that this was the merit of her brother, because the formation was quite powerful. Amelia heard somewhere that it is harder to destroy a formation from the inside than from the outside. Formations are studied in the Hall of Star Law, and the young man is from the Blue Heart Hall. The triplets counted on their fingers what they were teaching there. The beauties came to the conclusion that their brother was really good, but why hadn't they heard about him before? Amelia, having found another reason to talk with her mentor, decided to directly ask about what she was interested in. Seeing his sister coming out of the tent, Brian asked, why aren't you sleeping? Amelia replied that she could not sleep and decided, as a training, to watch with her brother. At this moment, the system also woke up. Option 1. Ask if she is hungry. Reward. Yang Ming's divine spell. Low rank DG. Option 2. Bring her a chair for her to sit next to. Reward. 5 ghost spirit technique. Xuan middle rank. Option 3. Say, since I've already come, I'll be on duty alone because I have work to do. Reward. 1-1, one, one, random basic, skill point. The hero said the text of the third option without hesitation, putting the girl into a stupor of surprise. But he got Poisy 1 to his physique. Amelia suddenly began to think that Brian didn't love her very much, but she even liked it when he was so cold towards her. When he was about to leave, the system tightened up again. Option 1. Leave immediately. Reward. San Yuan Miasma, lowest Chuan rank. Option 2. Go to the sounds of a fight and help. Reward. Plus 1. Random basic skill point. The rest of the girls came out of the tent. Brian called them behind him. The beauties did not expect such an initiative from their brother. In the forest there was already a crowd of people with weapons standing against the crowd. The third stage of key training is the most powerful. The young mentor wisely decided. The hero ordered the girls to separate everyone. They obediently agreed. Amelia shielded the victim with herself and introduced herself to her offender. I am a student of the Contemplation Sect. This has nothing to do with your sect. Don't interfere. The man wanted to continue the attack, but Sarah instantly prevented him. So this is the decision of the Contemplation Sect. We will retreat, but remember, the man finally said angrily. After his words, the crowd retreated. I am a caliph from a family of healers. Thank you for your help, said the young man, for whom our heroes stood up. The attackers, retreating, threw shuriken at Amelia's back, but Brian deftly caught it in mid-flight. You should expect such surprises when throwing the enemy back, watch out for this, and leave the shuriken as a souvenir, said the hero. Amelia thanked her brother for saving her. After all, if it weren't for him, she would have been hurt or maybe worse. A new acquaintance praised the skills of the young mentor and asked his name. Brian introduced himself. Since brother Brian repelled the attack of the robbers, Thank you. But before he could finish speaking, the young mentor interrupted him, referring to his wounded companion. The girl accompanying her master said that she was fine. I have always heard that the technique of Lan Lin, from the healer clan, is very effective in treating injuries. Enlighten me, our hero asked ambiguously. But the girl denied her talents, citing imperfect mastery of the Lan Lin technique. Obviously, the young man's request took her by surprise. Well, what a bad memory. 
Lan Lin's technique is not a technique of the Healer Clan, but of the Zhoutian Clan. Brian cunningly thought through his move. The girl realized that without wanting it, she had actually been caught in her own lie. This information shocked everyone naturally, except the young mentor. A new acquaintance tried to somehow smooth things out. Brian asked him not to bother with explanations, because he understands everything. He just wanted to teach the sisters a lesson that they should not expect the truth from saved people. I think we'll stop here. Everything is fine with you and we can leave. The elder brother politely and quickly said goodbye. Brother Brian, wait! My real name is Karis. I am a disciple of the Shuyan cult. No, I am the son of a Shuyan cult master. A new acquaintance shouted after him. Our hero stopped, catching himself thinking that the catch was still great. His companion was nervous and did not want her master to give himself away. But Karis supported the older brother's idea that it was not noble to deceive one's saviors. The triplets asked about this Shuyan cult because they had never heard anything like it before. Their mentor clearly explained that this is a demonic cult from Huainan. The girls were sure that representatives of demonic cults had an ugly appearance with a pair of extra limbs. But Brian refuted these folk legends because the people from these clans are quite ordinary, without extra eyes or hands. Haris hoped for understanding from the young mentor. Brian understood everything. He only asked to tell him about the purpose of coming to Zhang Bei. Without a grain of lies, the young gentleman told about his sorrows. After all, he is the son of a cult master. Everyone expects from him what he is not capable of, since he has a weak yang body. His father was disappointed in him, and his brothers denounced him as a disabled person in front of the parishioners. Only his faithful companion believed in him, who helped him find suitable techniques. Brian scrolled through all the information in his head, and realized that this guy could very well be useful to him in the future, because he is a pure template for a positive character. So you traveled this way to establish yourself in a foreign country? Our hero clarified. Karis, clenching his fists, confirmed this, because he wanted to impress everyone looking down on him. Brian understood his intentions and shared them, because after all the mockery, this is a normal reaction. But now, I can't even defeat tramps, what kind of career is there? The young master sighed. The hero asked the reason for the quarrel with the hillbilly. They said that while driving past a field, they saw how tramps were mocking a farmer and decided to help. But they called their comrades and set up an ambush. So if it weren't for the help of our brave men, things would have been difficult. Brian was amazed how students of a demonic cult could do such a thing. And yet this is truly the model of a protagonist, he thought to himself. Our hero suggested that Carissa's father is not so indifferent to him. After all, this is not the first time they have been raked off by thieves for helping others. Brian continued to stick to his line. Is this the first time you have gone so far? Harris confirmed. Because before they studied and lived in the mountains, rarely going outside, the hero drowned to victory. So, do you really think that you safely got from Huainan to Jiangbei because you are capable of it, and not because you are protected? Third uncle! He must be watching us! The young master lit up. Wait, what uncle? Brian looked sideways in bewilderment. Karis was carried away with stories. The third uncle supported this and that. In general, everywhere and always. It seemed that he would idolize him for a couple of days without stopping. Brian could not tolerate these praises. Who is this third uncle for you? Why is he so kind to you? The third uncle is my father's brother. He watched me grow up. Took care of me and my mother because my father kicked her out because of my weakness. Explained the young master. Don't your dad's horns press on you? Brian scoffed to himself. The system offered a choice. Option 1. Hint to Carice why his uncle is so kind to him. Reward. Irresistible finger. DG middle rank. Option 2. Continue listening silently. Reward. Golden bell technique. Highest rank Xuan. Option 3. Join and start praising your uncle for being a good person. Reward. Plus 1. Random base attribute point. It looks like this uncle of yours is a great and good man. Our hero chose the third option. Karis already shed a tear, out of longing for his uncle. Suddenly the young man noticed that the task had not been completed. He needed to pack everything even more beautifully. And then the professional actor rushed from Brian. In fact, like you, I don't develop my body, but there is an uncle who takes care of me. Without him, I would die. Everything has its own will. Fate will give you a person who will lead you. All uncles are like that. After such a speech, the system counted the task and assigned it plus one to suggestion. The young man breathed a sigh of relief because this concert was not easy for him. 
The sisters, hearing this, cried and felt sorry for their poor, useless mentor. Brian forgot that they were listening to everything there. It was a little reckless. But you can live. You are truly my soulmate. Can I call you Big Brother? A new acquaintance suddenly asked. The system window has tightened. Option 1. Agree. Reward. Possession of spiritual royal power. Highest rank of Xuan. Option 2. Change the topic of conversation. Reward. Illusory light source. Huang highest rank. Option 3. Outright refusal. Reward. Plus one random basic skill point. All good heroes are dangerous. Brian chose the third option and refused, giving final advice. Not to trust new acquaintances. The sisters were shocked by such harshness of their brother. Carice understood and took into account the advice. Brian remained calm and decided to advise one more thing. Our hero took out a book that could inspire the young master. Karis, holding the book in his hands, did not know what to say. It was important for Brian to leave a good impression, because this character could still be useful. Having given the book, the young man and the girls left. Karis thought it strange. It was necessary to find a safe place to heal the wounds of my companion. This was the end of the fateful acquaintance. Having moved further away, the triplets immediately became more active with a request to turn to their older brother. He allowed it. Questions immediately began to pour in about the demonic sect and about the donated book. Brian refused to comment, but the girls did not give up and began offering various kinds of services in exchange for information. I'll count to three and downgrade anyone who makes a scene again. One. The hero delivered an ultimatum. The girls immediately fell silent and froze behind. Brian announced to the girls the rules that he asked them to follow after returning to the sect. First, talk about what you learned without mentioning it. Second, do not recommend him to others for escort. Third, not seeing each other without unforeseen reasons. Amelia was struck by his severity and indifference. This masochist gave pleasure to any of his gaze. Our hero thought that his mental suppressive gaze was working successfully, but he could not even imagine how successfully. I do not force you to obey. I only hope for your respect for my words in order to remain just acquaintances. The young man added callously. The girls were offended that they were just acquaintances to him, after all, not even friends. Only Amelia, despite his coldness, found her brother cute. I hope you remember these three rules. Let's return to the sect. The girls obediently agreed with sadness in their eyes. Upon his return, the young mentor asked the sisters to return the wardrobe items that he had given them at the beginning. The girls returned the hat, sandals, and robe to protect their faces in a careful manner. Before leaving, I said that I would give a reward for the best result. This time, everyone showed themselves well. Brian said, taking out a bottle of elixir. But he singled out Amelia, citing her leadership skills and positive attitude in difficult situations. The beauty did not expect to receive an award. Brian only confirmed his intentions to reward her. She thanked her brother but did not feel much joy. The young man, when he left for the Law and Order Hall, said that the grades would be sent to the master and asked him to adhere to three rules. The beauties accepted his words. They couldn't believe that their brother really just left so easily. But having learned these three rules, they began to understand why no one in the sect knew him. Sarah was sad that she would no longer have the opportunity to cross paths with him, because she never thanked him properly. The third rule was not to interact with each other unless something happened. Amelia figured out how to get around this rule. What if something happens? Sarah admired her sister's ingenuity. Hello, brother Ethan. I came with a report, the hero reported. Ethan was delighted to see his brother return and asked to give him a minute to record the data. He inquired about the success of the completed mission. Brian said that he had learned something interesting and wanted to report it. The young man, according to the assignment, reported to Shu Lojai that they were the ones who were stealing children and could make their move in the near future. After what was said, he was credited with plus one control in the air. This is a special skill and our hero was happy about it. Ethan promised to report to the sect about Shu Lojai. Brian thanked him for this service. Before the sect could intervene, the hero decided to get some useful things. Brian discovered that just one special skill gave him the ability to control himself in the air much more strongly. He felt that since the thief had shared the location of the book with him, it would be disrespectful to ignore it. The humidity in the forest was quite high and the grass was darker. Most likely this was the path the thief used. Suddenly a wild beast appeared behind the hero's back, breathing menacingly into his back. The tiger took an attack stance, as if guarding its territory. Brian chased away a wild cat like a pet, without a trace of fear in his eyes. This infuriated the tiger and he rushed to attack. 
the young hero used his gaze power. This turned the tiger into a cute fluff ball. Usually a tiger by its nature will sneak up to attack, but this one is a little stupid or raised by someone. Lie down, I need to learn something from you. Brian ordered the little animal. Tigger obediently lay down. The beast led the guy to the majestic red tree. Fluffy pointed his paws at the tree, hinting at a hiding place. He stroked the beast for good work. The hero ordered the assistant to sit still. The system offered options. Option 1. Start digging right away. Reward. Blue Water Dragon. Highest rank Huang. Option 2. Prepare before you dig. Reward. Pwazi 1. Random basic skill point. It became clear why the thief spoke about the book so simply and wanted to lure him into a trap. He prepared well, wearing protection and cultivating the land. I also wore gloves just in case. A meteorite Scolopendra appeared from a cultivated plot of land. It was not called that for nothing because she could easily bring her down to earth from heaven. The hero deftly grabbed the creeper and placed it in a container. It may come in handy in the future. The trophy pleased Brian. Only after preparation, the young man began to dig and the task added to his skills and go. Holding the box in his hands, he understood that the task was accepted, which means there should be no danger, so he could safely open what he found. There was gold and a book in the box. The hero was surprised how profitable it is to work for a demonic cult now. It was his, now it's mine, he said without regret. Having opened the book, Brian could not make out the essence of what was written. He had to return and calmly understand everything correctly. Is it worth killing you so that you don't give anything away? He asked, leaving the tiger. The animal was confused. Tigger got scared and pressed himself to the ground. But when he turned around, he no longer found Brian and sighed with relief. After spending the entire night trying to figure out the water heart formation, he forgot to pay his respects to the head of the Chung Hall. Therefore, I immediately went there. Hall leader Cheng, the student, has returned. Standing at the door of the hall, said the hero. The door swung open at the speed of light and Brian was dragged inside by force. The head of the hall was very happy to see him. Because he had not played with him for two days, his hands were itching on their own. Then I will take the black stones and ask the head of the hall to be merciful. The young man showed respect, but the head of the hall immediately rejected the guy's initiative and said that he was playing black. The gray-haired head grabbed the stones in his hands. Taking black stones is a sign of respect, so Brian did not understand why he took the initiative to play black first. The head of the hall held the stones near the blue like a child. But our hero accepted it. Perhaps there are reasons for this. Brian started the game by making the first move. Go stones on the board are a real treasure, the guy said. The head of the hall was pleased that the young man knew his business. Such treasures can be considered good, but do not reach Tian 9 or D8 rank. After all, Huang 6 rank is a magical treasure that already has a spiritual nature, can be used as a clan treasure. When Brian first acquired the system, the list of treasures was with a rank of Huang 6, terribly complex. The system did not warn about such cruelty. Brian, you've been in the sect for five years and without a teacher, I can... Hall Head Cheng didn't have time to finish. You know that I have no talent for Go. I just like to calmly play with you. Our hero interrupted him. This system did not allow him to grow, because immediately upon entering the sect he learned about the 24 halls of the Contemplation Sect. But the Blue Heart Hall was the simplest option and the safest. When Brian entered the Blue Heart Hall and passed the experience exchange test, the system, as always, offered options, and the simplest and safest was to suffer defeat and leave the arena. While playing, he discovered that the system did not give him options to win or lose, so it didn't matter. In this world, the cultivation of martial arts is the most important thing, and the talent to play Go is just a bonus. This way, our hero could remain in the contemplation sect without becoming a target. But Brian knew that sooner or later his time would come. The head of the hall laughed contentedly. The young man, after making calculations, confirmed the victory of his opponent. I was able to hold 17 out of 17 in my hand, but you didn't have the courage to do anything, the old man boasted. Brian admitted his mistakes and admired the power of the game. It's interesting to play with you because you understand where you lost, unlike other idiots. The old man was still laughing. Brian asked the gym leader for some tips on the game. The mischievous grandpa suggested playing another game. They sat together for a long time and powerfully studied something. Brian admired the various inlays of the head of the hall and asked to give him a month to study it. The head of the hall gave the go-ahead. Of course, he thanked the old man, but mentally he was already determined to study the book he had recently acquired. 
and not those stupid stones. The gray-haired leader offered another game. The young man thanked him for teaching. A voice was heard behind the door. Leon, is Brian with you? Our hero, of course, knew that they would be looking for him today, but he did not expect that it would be the master of the hall himself. Plays against me, answered the funny old man. Then I come in. The master quickly opened the door. Brian expressed his respect to him, and he asked him to take a break and follow him. The rule of the Blue Hearts Hall was not to end the game unless it was a matter of life and death for a person. What could have happened? Brian, have you committed a crime? asked the grandfather. But our hero did not appreciate humor because he was always honest. The hall master encouraged the guy, saying there was no need to be nervous. The young man began to fuss, saying he just understood the essence of the game and would like to stay. Come with me and don't distract me with such talk, Brian suddenly heard. In appearance, the hall master smiled sweetly. But a secret voice transmission conveyed to the young man that in case of refusal, the hero would not receive any services from him in the future. The system gave options. Option 1. Continue making excuses. Reward. Kanghai spell. Highest rank Xuan. Option 2. Ask Lion to intervene. Reward. 7 steps of martial arts. Lowest Xuan rank. Option 3. Agree with the master. Reward. Plus equal 1. Random basic skill point. Brian told the head of the hall that he should go with the master of the hall. Old man Leon did not object. Mrs. May, I brought to you the person you asked for. The master suddenly chirped. The teacher apologized for disturbing Master Chan. Are you exaggerating what concerns? The master sucked up. Why are you still standing, Mrs. May? If they find out about this, they will say that I don't know how to treat guests. This womanizer continued to lay down. Chan has already brought tea to this lady. Brian just grinned, watching what was happening, and did not understand how one could suck up so obsessively. But Mrs. May took it for granted. The master of the hall ordered the student to go and bow to the lady, and not stand like a stump. Brian only mentally gloated, because you won't win this lady with flattery. Disciple Brian pays tribute, the young man bowed in greeting. Mrs. May immediately posed an uncomfortable question to the student. Brian, after the task you hid in the blue heart, wasn't it from me? The system has tightened up. Option 1. I wouldn't dare. Xuan low rank reward. Option 2. I just got inspired and went to improve my skills. Mid rank award. Huang. Option 3. Yes, that's right. Reward. Puzzy 1 random basic skill point. Yes, that's right. This is of course rude, but what could he do? The system immediately gave him plus 1 to painting. Lovelace became more active. Brian, what you said. Are you ready for the consequences? Master Chan immediately began to make excuses and apologize to Mrs. May for his student, but she asked the master to leave them alone. Naturally, he could not contradict her and move towards the exit, but as he left, he again threw his hidden thoughts at the student. Don't you dare say that anymore, otherwise I'll punish you. The guardian of the Water Mirror Hall praised the young man for accompanying her students, and was glad that she was not mistaken in choosing him for this mission. You rejected me so decisively. Are you afraid that I will force you to become a little bit more cultivated? The keeper began to press. Brian was confused, not knowing what to answer. I understand everything. You are mature beyond your years, with your ideals and noble views on life. Besides, you stand firmly on your chosen path, Mrs. May said. The Guardian promised not to impose her ideas on the young man anymore. But our hero could not understand what the girls there told her about him. Brian thanked the lady for such magnificent words, and she wished him good luck and went about her business. It all ended quite unexpectedly, but our hero felt relieved, because this madam would no longer pester him. Sorry for the trouble, Master Chan. Thank you for everything. The lady languidly expressed gratitude. The master awkwardly asked if she managed to talk to Brian. Yes, he is a good student because they teach well in the Blue Heart Hall. I have things to do, so I'll go. But next time, I'll come back to ask you for advice, Master Chan, said the keeper. I'll accompany you. The hallmaster arched his head. Brown even felt a little sorry for him, because love makes a person submissive. Hey hey, next time there will be a next time. Having seen off the lady, Master Chan hummed and skipped. Then he realized that our hero was watching him. He immediately looked serious and praised Brian for a job well done, because the glory of the Blue Heart Hall is the merit of the young man. The hero bowed as a sign of gratitude for the praise. Lord May has a good impression of you. Get to know her better and invite her here. Why are you looking at me like that? Master Chan asked the stunned young man. What I mean is that you need to get along with other halls and learn from each other. 
The master quickly corrected himself. Brian showed understanding aloud, but in his head he had long since figured out this womanizer. Market Square, fraught with a lot of intrigue and secrets. In one of the establishments, men were having dinner, talking among themselves. Dylan, have you set up your nets yet? Asked the larger one. How could I disobey you, Master Rick? All the units under my command were scattered, no one was left behind. Answered the second one. Master Rick nodded contentedly, but the second interlocutor could not understand what all the fuss was about. Dylan heard that it was Boss Ian who ran into trouble. To which Master Rick was surprised, because Ian was an 8th rank Juan, it was reckless to go out to the enemy so blindly. At that moment, there was a knock on the door, wanting to share the news. The young man who burst into the room reported that six people wearing straw hats with a similar description had entered the city. Master Rick only happily asked about their whereabouts. Karis and his escort calmly moved around the city in straw hats. Now we are all together. We need to be careful. The young gentleman turned to the escort. Brother, I don't like this hat. It's ugly said the gentleman's companion, but he was sure that it was useful because Brother Brian himself wore it, and plus, now they are not as noticeable as before. The companion only obediently agreed. Master Rick and his assistants clearly got something wrong, but they confidently considered these people to be exactly the ones they were looking for. Even the coins of those people matched the description. Everything, as they believed, came together. Master Rick ordered his assistant to make a fuss about them to provoke them. Suddenly, the deputy head of the gang approached him. The deputy head of the gang heard that Master Ian was defeated by a teenager. He wanted to personally verify this, and asked to report on the situation. Meanwhile, chaos was already going on around Caris. Rick's men completely destroyed the establishment, citing the terrible sesame paste. The shop owner begged on his knees not to destroy everything, but they screamed and didn't calm down. Guests of the establishment slowly ran away, so as not to become victims of disgruntled bullies. Karis thought that there were enough problems on the way and that he needed to keep a low profile. He remembered Brian's words about his third uncle. And he came to the conclusion that if his uncle monitors his well-being, then he shouldn't be afraid to help. He ordered his companion to help the poor shop owner, and she happily agreed. Scum! Stop it! The girl shouted, taking out a blade. Rick was indignant, saying that if Master Ian was defeated, then the Huang Gang can be ignored. The deputy head of the gang ordered more people to be called. Carrie saw this mess and also decided to intervene. Suddenly, a stranger took the side of the young master. He was handsome, and even with a sword, he was quite a good partner for fighting injustice. The stranger covered Karis from the enemy's attack with one swing of his sword. Karis again lied about his origin and name, but thanked him for his help. The stranger also introduced himself. His name was Harold. He was from the Miao Miao sect. Rick was wondering what the heavy heavenly sword Harold was doing here but the deputy head of the gang was looking closely at Karis. He immediately ordered the removal of the provocateurs from there. Master Rick asked what he saw there, and the deputy said that he recognized the third son of the head of the Shueyan cult, because he had definitely seen him before. Rick hesitated. He did not know that the third son had forgotten in this small town. The deputy began to think about what brought the young gentleman to them. Is it necessary to establish contact with him? Having decided to wait for the initiative from Karis, the deputy ordered a couple of smart guys from the gang to be assigned to him as security. Master Rick obediently accepted the will of his elder. Seeing that the young gentleman had been studying the book for several days, his companion asked, Brother, is it really that interesting? This is not only interesting, but also impressive. He would definitely thank Brian when they meet, because he is a respected person for them from now on. The girl smiled sweetly because indeed, after meeting Brian, a lot had changed. Harris agreed with her opinion. Our hero seemed to feel these conversations about him and almost choked. He didn't understand why there was so much praise behind him lately. There was a noise in the mountains. Brian realized that this was a bell for convening students, but he did not care, because he was in solitude. At this moment, the young man decided to refine a poisonous insect pill in the furnace. A crowd of students gathered in the arena in honor of the return of Elder Brother Un and the others. According to local stories, whoever Brother Un wants to kill will not be able to hide from the gaze of the Lord of Hell. Brother, who is this elder sister standing next to Un? asked one of the students. For such questions he immediately got Bream. After all, you can only look at her with your eyes on the floor. At this meeting of sects in the Zhangbei region, disciples from the contemplation sect were represented and had achieved success. Lana, a student who excels in calligraphy and martial arts. Un, who took first place in the tournament. The audience of students enthusiastically greeted their idols. These two legends were looking for someone with their eyes. Lana left, saying goodbye to her sisters. 
She moved secretly and unnoticed, not wanting to be noticed. The girl didn't know if her brother could be here now. She knocked and quickly galloped off into the bushes for secrecy. No one answered the knock on the door, which meant that the brother probably went for a walk in the mountains. The beauty decided to hide and wait for him. Unnervously looked for his older brother in the forest. But suddenly, he was caught in the fog. The legendary young man realized that he was in a formation. This time he decided to destroy this trap himself, because he considered himself fully prepared. Well, not without a desire to show off his skills to his brother. As he walked, he smelled the smell of smoking candles, but decided not to panic but to concentrate. Un held her breath, gathered all her skills and shifted her focus to her feelings. Gradually, after preparation, by directing the chakras, he reproduced the destructive technique. The technique in his hands acquired power. He added the necessary words for a more powerful effect. This was the formation of heavenly wind and silver rain, where do is life and can is death. He found a way out of the trap for himself and boldly headed towards it. After a while, he was unclear where and at a loss. This terribly infuriated Un, because he spent a lot of time looking for a way out, but in vain. He just shouted at the top of his lungs out of despair. Big brother is too strong. Brat! Help! Something slipped behind the guy's back, but very quickly and deftly. He did not expect the presence of anyone else, so he asked, Who is here? The aggressive enemy began to attack. Un took a stance and tried to strike, but the attacker immediately cut off all defense. The legendary student barely managed to dodge the blow, still not understanding why his technique did not work. Even very powerful techniques the enemy managed to repel, Un only flew back. Everything seemed to be against the guy, and the aggressor attacked indestructibly. Un did not understand why all his efforts were useless. These two crossed their blades with such force that they sparked. The guy did not have time to be amazed at the enemy's power. The sword flew out of the hands of the legendary guy. He ended up on the ground and lost consciousness. It seemed like this was the end. Un woke up in a safe place and saw his older brother. Didn't I tell you to play the flute at the entrance and not get into trouble? Brian gave him a click. Un admitted the mistake, but the elder brother continued to teach. You need to call for help because if I hadn't come, you would have been killed. Brian gave him medicine to stop the poison from entering the body. The poor fellow began to drink the entire contents of the bottle for which he again received a click because he was ordered to drink only a sip. Un offendedly rubbed his forehead because in such a short time, he had already received it twice. Brian was glad that he got a younger brother to whom the system does not respond. After all, now you can quietly train him. Four years ago, Brian came down from the mountain together with his younger brothers and sisters because there is a rule in the sect to go down from the mountains once every two months. The reason for the rule is to introduce students to ordinary life, to raise the reputation of the contemplation sect by doing good deeds. It was at that time that the younger sister from the team confessed her love to him in front of everyone. He was completely screwed, so he realized that beautiful girls were nothing but trouble. After her confession, the system forced her to make a choice. Option 1. Give express consent. DI's highest rank award. Option 2. Say that cultivation is more important now. Low rank Schwan reward. Option 3. Reject your sister. Mid rank award, Huang. This time it is very difficult because there are no options with skill points. Sorry, you are just a younger sister for me, and nothing more. Brian chose the third option, but the sister swore that she would do everything so that he would look at her not as a younger sister. The system activated additional tasks. Rid the three younger brothers of hostility or kill them. Mid-rank award, Huang. Brian wasn't happy about this. It was going to be a shitty day. The three brothers had their own plans for their sister, so they were already aggressive. Our hero cleverly found an approach to the first younger brother, telling him about the value of the newspaper for earning big money. He taught the second one the subtleties of getting closer to the girl of his dreams, thereby achieving his favor. Only brother Un did not want to talk to him, but asked for a duel in honor of his younger sister, who did not even interest Brian. I had to fight because Un did not understand anything other than physical beliefs. It turns out that the younger sister was attracted by the hidden power of her older brother, I lost. Having accepted defeat, the violent guy said, and as an apology, said that he would always come to Brian's aid if necessary. To which our hero replied, There are a lot of fish in the sea, and there is still a lot of new things ahead. Unlike this phrase about fish, he was delighted and amused by his older brother's experience. Brother Un, 
I hope you won't tell anyone about my power, the young man asked quietly. The younger brother swore to heaven that he would not reveal the secret because he respects and admires his friend. Our hero was confident in his younger brother. During the mission, one of the team poisoned Brian, although they seemed to get along before that. This led to the failure of the mission and three months in bed, and the brother who poisoned him somehow died along the way. Brian was shocked by the death of that abnormal person, because he did everything not to fail the task. Unthought that his older brother valued friendship so much that he was heartbroken, like a real ideal friend. This whole story helped Brian understand the dangers of high-level reward tasks and gained a loyal younger brother. The memory ended there. I won the competition among the sects of the Jingbai region, and I am here to report this joyful event, untold his older brother. Brian understood that his victory was the reason for the fuss in the sect. So, that's why you dared to break into the formation? He asked a direct question to the winner. I wanted to show my brother my progress, the legendary student argued. But our hero gave him instructions. The time when you are most confident in yourself is also the time when you are most likely to fall flat on your face. The younger brother thanked him for the valuable lesson and promised to remember it. Brian prepared tea for a friend that removes poison from the body and advised him on the correct use of this medicine. But Un asked with fear, Brother, do you think someone will poison me? Our hero explained that due to winning the Jiangbei tournament, and acquiring more resources, there will inevitably be envious people. He also set an example. Larry from the True Battle Hall not long ago took first place in the test and is now lying paralyzed. Yoon thanked his older brother for his concern. Brian also gave him an invisible and silent shuriken for training. He asked a friend about the competition, and he happily said that he had a strong and fast opponent, Master Chinar, and only thanks to Brian's lessons, he managed to win. It might seem that the opponent was at the peak of the ninth rank, but in terms of cultivation, he is on the same level as Un. Brian considered him a real younger brother. He gave him a lot of pills to quickly improve his cultivation, and this Chinar is on the same level as him. Maybe a genius in his sect, but you have to be on your guard. You never know. Un also spoke about a second rank beast that settled in the forest. A thunder-winged fox, he would like to challenge the predator to break into Xuanxi in one fell swoop. Our hero approved of such intentions, and asked to let him know if he saw a third-rank beast, so that he could prepare a suitable formation to move forward. Brian gave his younger brother a list of necessary materials for the next month, which needed to be found in the forest. The young man wanted to go about his business, but unbusy himself with some request that he was embarrassed to voice. Our hero hero said, If you're shy, don't talk. Un nevertheless asked permission to say, the hero gave the go-ahead. A legendary disciple had recently developed a set of fighting stances, and wanted to demonstrate them to his older brother. Brian agreed to play with the boy. Un bowed and asked for forgiveness in advance, because he was sure that he would harm his brother. The presentation of techniques began. Un deftly began to throw darts, standing still, distracting his opponent from the main blow. Then he ascended high for the power of a blade strike. He added a spell to the striking technique, hundreds of petals swirling in chaos. Without much effort, Brian stopped the sword flying at him with two fingers. The younger brother did not expect this, so he was embarrassed. Too slow, the hero calmly said to his friend. Yoon looked at him with big eyes, barely containing his anger. Brian continued to mock. Is that all? The younger brother sat sadly on the grass, looking away. Come on. It's good technique. You're just slow. And you shouldn't throw darts while standing still. It's more effective to do it while attacking with a sword. Our hero added. I can't do this yet. Un sadly responded to the advice. Brian asked how long he had been practicing. The legendary student caught on, admitted that he was not very good at this and, promising to practice 800 times, ran. In pursuit, Brian shouted to him, Don't get into the formation, otherwise I'll take off your monthly allowance of pills. Despite the successes of his younger brother, the hero was afraid to praise him again, so as not to raise his self-confidence to the skies, so he found the whip method acceptable. Returning to the sect, he heard a secret transmission of a voice addressed to him. The young man looked with his eyes for the one who addressed him. It was Sister Lana who sat in the bushes for a long time, for the sake of her goal. It looked like a novice stalker or maniac. He also conveyed to her a mental question. What are you doing there? I just returned from Van County and brought a gift to you. Left it in the usual place. The girl said without getting out of the bushes. Brian thanked her. 
The girl wished her older brother good night and left. The gift was a slobbering mushroom of nine generations. Our hero did not expect that the younger sister was able to find such. My brother told me four whole words. He even accepted the gift. It must be mutual love. Lana rejoiced maniacally. To celebrate, she even dragged a tree. For her, four years of watching her older brother were worth her time. He is reserved and difficult to approach, but this suited the girl. The elder brother is in the mood between one and three o'clock in the morning. You need to make a note about this, Lana said maniacally. Truly terrible love. Brian went to the door of the hall master Kim and knocked, because he wanted to see him. The master of the hall allowed him to enter. After the young man paid his respects, the master invited him to drink tea. The hero agreed. Before starting the tea ceremony, Brian noticed something. A cup with a lipstick mark stood on the shelf like a trophy or jewel. The hero remembered that it was from this cup that Mrs. May drank tea. Thanks to the master for the tea, he mentally condemned the master for such schizophrenia with the cup. Brian, how's the job going that I asked you to do last time? Master Kim asked insistently. Brian was embarrassed by such a rush, because only one day had passed since their conversation. I don't know what to say when I so recklessly go to Protector May. The hero answered politely. Master Kim continued to talk about his own, saying that it is necessary to deepen the relationship between the two halls and develop together. Brian tried to convey to the master that the Water Mirror Hall studies music, and the Blue Heart Hall studies the art of playing Go. There is clearly little in common. The master was already nervous. He insisted that the main desire is to find common ground. You can take sparring in martial arts. He even started bargaining and promised to allow an application to change the place for training in the outskirts of the mountain. This is a clear abuse of power. Brian didn't want to go to such dangerous girls, because with one step they could trigger a task of die rank. At that moment, the system offered a choice. Option 1. Refuse the Hallmaster's Request. Xuan Mid-Rank Award. Option 2. Change the subject. Juan Highest Rank Award. Option 3. Satisfy Master Kim's Request. Reward. Plus one random base skill point. Brian was a little confused as to why this was so. The hero promised to do everything that was needed. Meanwhile, in the Water Mirror Hall, there was a demonstration of talent from Sister Amelia. The brothers who watched the concert praised the girl from head to toe, admired the skill of her playing, and simply the beauty herself. She politely thanked them for such words. But in her thoughts, she dreamed of a couple of rude words from Brian, because she deliberately lied a couple of times. The older brother would definitely have expressed his dissatisfaction. Her heart beat faster at the mere thought of him. She wanted to see him so much. Suddenly, the triplets appeared with big news, which they were in a hurry to convey to Amelia. They saw Brian come to the hall of the water mirror. The girl was delighted with this information. Also, the sisters saw that he was heading to the mirror garden, so they suggested going there to see him because there is nothing suspicious about meeting him in the territory of the water mirror. Amelia agreed to the adventure. She just wanted to take Sarah with her. Brian was met by a student of the water mirror hall and asked about the purpose of the young man's arrival. Hello, I am a student of the Blue Heart Hall. I want to see the protector May, let her know about it, answered the hero. The student pointed at the line with a grin and asked his brother to take a place at the end of it. Our hero turned around because he didn't understand what kind of cue we were talking about. Are all these people here to meet Mrs. May? It was impressive. They are the same as you. They were ordered to come here, the student said disrespectfully. Brian was shocked that male students were ready to kill for the sake of their beautiful sisters. This was inherited from him. He was amazed at the number of fans per girl. But not everything is so bad, because you can tell the master in the evening that you couldn't see her because of the large number of people who wanted to. While he was rubbing his palms and thinking about where best to pass the time until the evening, Mrs. May saw him and asked what he was doing here. He was not delighted with such a meeting, because he really avoided it. This world is treacherous and evil towards him, it seemed to the hero. This student is here to find you, Protector May. I just wanted to let you know, said this upstart. Brian mentally cursed him. Mrs. May was surprised that he was looking for her, because the young man is so uncommunicative. I understand. Come with me. She said to the hero, who didn't really want to meet her, let alone follow her. The system presented a choice. Option 1. Say that he is no better than the rest, so he will stand in line. Xuan low rank reward. Option 2. Follow Mrs. May reward. Plus 1 random base attribute point. Brian was angry at the system, because this choice humiliated the hero and his intelligence. But what can you do? I had to choose the second one. 
The system immediately counted him plus one to strength. This aroma is something valuable, the hero thought, catching a wonderful smell from the garden. Defender May wanted to ask the purpose of the student's visit, but noticed his thoughtful look. Brian! She called out to him, bringing him back to reality. Ah, I'm sorry. I just smelled an unusual aroma and got a little lost in thought, answered the hero. The defender was amazed that he was able to identify a specific aroma from the numerous plants in the mirror garden. But Brian explained that in his free time, he grows plants and some flowers, so it's difficult, but he can tell the difference. Oh? I heard from Master Kim that you are also interested in calligraphy and painting, which is impressive. The lady said suspiciously, flatteringly. He was engaged in plants only for the sake of earning money, but no one knew about it. And in general, you need to stick to the lower bar so that you don't expect too much from him. I got into this by accident, needless to say. And I came here on the orders of the Hallmaster, because we hope to deepen our relationship with the Water Mirror Hall for cooperation. Brian changed the topic. Cooperate? After all, your gym specializes in playing Go. How can we cooperate? Teacher May was surprised. This is very true. I will return and report to the Hallmaster about this. The hero bowed when he heard what he wanted. The woman stopped him when she heard about the master. Are you just going to leave without trying to argue? Brian replied that her words seemed very correct to him, and there was nothing to object to. But Defender May exactly repeated the words of Master Kim that the main desire and ability to attract acquaintance with martial arts. What is the cost of the Sishui sword technique from the Blue Heart Hall? In his thoughts, Brian has already married this couple, because they even think the same. Over the years of my stay in the Contemplation Sect, you are the most special student and I hope that if you act as the organizer, everyone will be inspired by this," said the Defender. But even though I said so, the final decision is not mine. I must turn to the Master of the Hall. The woman added to her words. Brian thanked her for her kindness, but feared that taking a position of which he was not worthy would only bring upon himself suffering and death. Mrs. May treated his words with understanding and promised her help whenever needed. The hero bowed gratefully and asked his mentor to accompany him in searching for the source of this mysterious aroma. She agreed, wanting to know what his nose could do. The young man counted the catch in his thoughts. He would be able to see the grass, the protector May does not keep on a short leash, and besides, she offered her protection. Perfect. Defender May invited Brown to meet the master of their hall. The young man was interested, but a little scared. The system did not react to this. It seems there is no danger. So he asked the lady to take him to the master of their hall. What is so special about this scent? Asked the teacher. The young man referred to his curiosity. There is not even a grain of truth in your mouth. She answered Brian as one of the students appeared behind her, paying tribute. She asked the student if Master Shima was there. She confirmed and kindly asked to enter. Mentor May asked the girl, before they entered, to report to the master about their visit and ask if she would like to meet. The girl obediently left. The protector warned Brian not to talk too much, because Master Shima is not as good-natured as she is. He felt the most powerful energy of an unknown force. At this point, the system offered a choice. Option 1. Look back. Xuan mid-rank award. Option 2. Take a step back. Juan highest rank award. Option 3. Stand still. Reward. Swan. Random base skill point. Suddenly, someone tapped the young man on the shoulder, taking him by surprise. The poor guy almost pissed himself in his trousers. He really didn't expect such movements. Master Shima was an unimaginably chic woman. Tattoos and shining eyes only complemented all her divinity. It is not surprising that Brian was shocked by such a new acquaintance. Is this the guy you brought with you? Asked the Hallmaster. Yes, Hallmaster. His name is Brian. He is one of the registered students of the Blue Heart Hall. Answered Defender May. Our hero, of course, knew that the master of the Water Mirror Hall was such a person. But he could not even think that she was so outstanding. Do you want to ask me for something, registered student? The master bent down to the young man, looking him straight in the eyes. Brian replied that as soon as he entered the Hall of the Water Mirror, he smelled a wonderful aroma and wanted to find it. The master of the hall said that the young man should describe the aroma to her, and if he does it well, he will receive a reward. The student modestly began to describe. The exotic aroma is not strong, but persistent, with a hint of citrus and a slight hint of orchids. 
Master Shima was very impressed by the accurate description of the double daffodil among such a huge number of other plants. She threw her hand over him as if he were an old friend and dragged him along with the words, Come in, I want to see what you are capable of. The student who allowed them to see the master also admired the brother from the Blue Heart Hall. Defender May clarified, Why is he so good, dear? There are so many different flowers here. The smells are so chaotically mixed that not everyone can distinguish or highlight them, it's impressive. The girl answered admiringly. Mrs. May only confirmed to herself that he is clearly hiding a lot about himself, and revealing his identity is quite difficult. Their voices were heard from behind the door, but the essence of the dialogue was slightly ambiguous. Be gentle, Master Shima. I'm gentle enough, if you don't like it, then take it into your own hands and show it how it should be done. Okay? I'm holding it gently. Look at this vein. Protector May immediately thought something was wrong. She wondered what these two were tenderly holding there. She burst into them, asking what they were doing. Master Shima says that her fern is a little lethargic and asked for help. Brian answered. Protector May was surprised, because this plant looks quite good. Plants have their own psychology of spirituality. A disorderly pattern and leaves of different sizes indicate that the fern is not in harmony with itself. The young man laid everything out with an expert look. The mentors asked, What should I do? The hero repeated his words for the protector May. You need to cut out the core, but very gently and carefully. Despite the externally strong branches, the fern is weak. When cutting out the core, you must not damage the inside. He continued the botany lesson. The hallmaster asked whether new side shoots would sprout, as if testing his confidence in his own words. Brian guaranteed that the plant would also bloom. Master Shima trusted his promise and asked him to follow her further. On the way, our hero involuntarily looked at the master of the hall. It was difficult not to notice all her beauty given by nature. As soon as she noticed his gaze, he turned away. Master Shima asked, What? Why did you turn away? It's not polite to stare like that. A worthy student wouldn't do that, answered the young man. She laughed out loud considering him much more interesting than all these old perverts who didn't even have the courage to talk to her, let alone look at her. Where did you find this treasure? The hallmaster asked the defender, May. She only calmly replied that this hermit crab still needed to be dug out of its hole. Brian kindly asked if Master Shima could take him to a double daffodil to appease his curiosity. The woman agreed to accompany him because he answered all her questions correctly. Our hero, upon entering the greenhouse, immediately emphasized the uniqueness of all plant specimens, because he had seen many only in books, and they were incredibly expensive. Do you like it? Shima asked, showing the collection. Of course, this is a real discovery for me, but... Brian couldn't finish his thought. But they look after them poorly, right? The master continued for him. Brian immediately apologized because he didn't want to offend her with his modest remarks. I understand everything, because I just love to admire them and others take care of them, she answered calmly. Not being an expert in the field of floristry, you have collected such an impressive collection. I am amazed. Brian was surprised. Master Shima laughed again because she did not collect these plants. They were given to her. Our hero suddenly realized that with such an appearance and the number of fans, this is understandable. All you have to do is mention that you love flowers and they will immediately tear down half the reserve at her feet just to impress. Do you think these flowers were wasted on me? She asked the young man. Flowers are meant to please the eyes, since you like them. Then their mission is justified. The guy deftly avoided the awkward question. Master Shima praised the guy for his eloquence and led him to the desired daffodil. Our hero was pleased, because this rare plant is just right for his potions which he has been working on lately. If you really like him, you can take the whole pot for yourself. The woman said cheerfully. This is true? He did not believe in such selfless kindness. As expected, she put forward conditions, the first being to take care of her flowers in the future. Brian obediently agreed, because this condition was predictable. He was glad of this, because in the future he could collect seeds of any specimens for himself. The second condition is to win the alcohol battle. Our hero wanted to automatically agree, but when it dawned on him he was at a loss. Yes! Alco battle! Don't say you don't know how! The master joyfully lost her palms. I won't accept any objections. If you want a double daffodil, then fight, otherwise you can forget about it." Shima pressed brazenly. May's defender tried to convey to her that it was indecent for a master to play such games with a student. 
She didn't care about the words of the defender. She jumped up, waiting for Brian's answer. The young man, in agreement, asked how to count the winners and losers. Brian, why are you being fooled by the Hallmaster's stupidity? Defender May appealed to prudence, but Master Shima shut her mouth because she was having fun and interesting with this student. The rules are simple. Whoever gets drunk first loses, she said cheerfully. Now they are already sitting at the table with strong drinks. But Brian still did not understand how it had come to this. Be careful, baby. I'm good at drinking, Shima repeated confidently. The young man was amazed in his thoughts. She smokes, drinks, and is covered in tattoos. But despite this, she remains a good gym master. The hall master released hot smoke from her lips, looking lustfully at the hero. Meanwhile, the sisters of the Water Mirror Hall, in search of their older brother, chatted about their practicing techniques and difficulties in their studies. Sarah noticed that while chatting, they managed to get to the Garden of Mirrors and suggested asking the elders of the hall about her brother. The girls supported her. They looked around and wondered why he was still not visible because an hour had already passed. Could he have gone out another way? Amelia refuted speculation about another exit, because the rule stated that students of the outer hall could only enter and exit the mirror garden through the main gate. Sarah happily suggested that her older brother had really important things to do, and invited everyone to wait a little longer for him. Ella, on her wavelength, compared herself with other sisters, although she is not as good as them. The girl intended to be more attentive and diligent in order to compare the possibilities. Amelia, behind her back, agreed to obediently wait for Brian. The male students looked with incomprehension at this fan club, sisters who were preoccupied with someone. Shima lost her turn, so Brian asked her for a drink. She could barely see, but agreed without objection. The hallmaster was already rowdy in full force. Brian just looked at this circus with a grin. It was clear that she didn't know how to drink and she didn't know how to accept defeat either. Shima took the jug with the hope of another glass of wine. But wine, unfortunately, tends to run out if you drink it in such doses. Defender May, with the hope that Brian would help her convince the hallmaster, asked her to stop because as many as three jugs had been drunk. But the drunkard shouted for more. The system presented the hero with options. Option 1. Help convince Shima. Lower rank D reward. Option 2. Quickly get Shima drunk. Xuan low rank reward. Option 3, delay the game. Reward, plus one, random base attribute point. Brian realized that he would definitely not help Mentor May, it was too dangerous. He chose the third option and invited the master to continue what he started. An hour later, Shima was really out of her mind. She spoke to the pillar, believing it to be Brian. Our hero watched this, but when she already climbed up to the column to hug, he distracted her from these tendernesses. Master of the Hall, I'm here. The system protected him with was one to spirit, since he managed to hold out time. Shima looked away from the decorative item, but focusing, she could not understand how Brian changed his location so quickly, because, as it seemed to her, she had just seen him in front of her. Are you really going to make our Hall Master drunk until he loses his pulse? May, the defender, snatched the drink from the young man's hands and said reproachfully. Brian suggested that the Master stop, because she really was no good. But she didn't think so. No, I can play. Don't go, shouted the drunk Master Shima. Protector May grabbed her by the arm and dragged her to rest. But the woman screamed that she wanted to play and struggled. From the outside, it was even funny. Brian even mentally compared her to a child who was being taken away from the sandbox. But despite this behavior, she is the master of the hall for a reason. The master used one of her trump techniques on May, shouting not to interfere with her game. The defender clearly did not expect such a turn. Everything around the master was burning with fire. And she, barely standing on her feet, said, Ha! No one will stop me from drinking today. Brian and Defender May spoiled the air a little because it was the smashing phoenix technique and this is very bad. Moreover, they did not know what else to expect from this rowdy. Run if I start fighting with her now. Heroin said Defender May. But Brian didn't argue. He simply agreed. She didn't expect him to agree so quickly. They usually ask how to help. But our hero is determined not to look for extra work for himself in order to avoid danger. Let's see who dares to stop me! Master Shima laughed menacingly, surrounded by lightning. It was really scary. Hall Master, excuse me. Activating her power, Defender May went to pacify the drunkard. These two powerful women fought until there was a column of dust. Brian just watched from the sidelines and wondered whether he should intervene or leave altogether. The fight ended. The young man stared with interest, waiting for the result. The picture was like this. 
The master of the hall was lying on the ground unconscious, and the protector Mei was trying to bring her to her senses. Our hero worriedly asked what about the master. Defender Mei calmly replied, It's okay, she's just drunk and sleeping. Brian noticed the master's tattoo. It looked worn out, which is typical for the design, but he really thought that the tattoo was real. He also stared. Emma suggested that the sisters next time go to the Blue Heart Hall and accidentally meet their older brother there. They supported her in this, but Amelia insisted to forget about this idea, so as not to run into the wrath of the Elder, and besides, it was already time to return to class. They agreed with the girl's words and stomped off to study together. Protector May carefully covered the Hallmaster while she muttered some nonsense. Brian bowed and was about to leave, but Defender May wanted to explain the Master's behavior. But at that moment, the system window pulled up the options. Option 1. Keep listening. Schwan High Rank Award. Option 2. Kill the Mentor and Run Away. Reward. Plus 1. Random Base Skill Point. I will leave the rest to the Protector May. This student needs to go. Having chosen the second option for himself, Brian said. After all, listening to a Zhuan-level story is dangerous. The system counted plus one to distilling alcohol, an interesting skill that came in handy more than ever. The hero covered his ears, not wanting to listen to the continuation. He ran away. Protector May just looked after him, surprised at how different he was from the other students. Meanwhile, after the calligraphy lesson, one of the sisters suggested that Lana get back together. A girl with a sweet smile agreed to accept her into her company. Ah, my sister's smile is so healing, it's as if the deity touched my eyes and I regained my sight. The younger sister admired. But Lana considered this too much flattery, so she did not react. The beauty finished her business and was ready to leave. The rest of the students, looking after them, only dreamed of walking at least once with Lana in the same company. Because for them, she was like a fairy from a fairy tale. On the way, the beauty met her younger sisters, whom she had previously accompanied to the test. One of the younger ones thanked Lana from the bottom of her heart for her support and high grades. As a token of gratitude, they prepared her a gift, which was in this small box. You did great, I'm proud of you. Besides, you are much more resourceful than I was during my first test. The older sister laughed, slowly plunging into memories. She remembered how Brian saved his brothers who had eaten mushrooms, telling them not to experiment with food in the wild. When Lana told him that she was cold, the young man, in few words, advised him to drink more hot water. If this were a girl with normal self-esteem, she would be repelled by such an attitude. But alas, this madam would be in seventh heaven if he spat in her face. All his short and cold phrases warmed her heart and gave her a feeling of security. At the mere mention of her older brother, Sakura, in her tiny brain, blossomed. Lana asked the girls for forgiveness for her momentary weakness in memories. Can I open the box? She asked her sisters. The girls were just waiting for this. Because they spent a lot of effort on this gift and were looking forward to the reaction of their older sister. Inside the box was a pearl of the rhyme of the spirit. A very valuable and rare thing that can turn a room into a place for practice rich in aura. Lana quickly closed the box. She asked the sisters to exchange this gift for snacks. Because she is not attracted to cultivation items. The little sisters agreed and promised to bring snacks tomorrow. The crowd watching this considered Lana a saint, because she is indifferent to treasures of this level. But the girl was just following the example of her older sister, who herself worked hard to achieve a place in the tournament. Luna's cultivation site was in her fantasies about Brian. She imagined that she had him. I sniffed his things, admiring the smell of my older brother. I imagined that he was writing letters to her about a secret meeting, fantasizing about his reciprocity. I dreamed of being in the arms of my beloved and making a covenant of three lives. From an overabundance of hormones, Lana fucked up everything she could get her hands on. Strange girl, but they all seem to be like that here. She felt that Brian's style of disguise might attract more of his attention. Our hero woke up, stretched and began to wonder whether he should go to the water mirror hall today. He wanted to go on reconnaissance into the mountains, but the protector May appeared on the horizon. The young man expressed his respect to her. The head wants to see you. Come with me, the teacher said calmly. Brian was not very happy about this, because Shima couldn't sit still for a day. Aren't you interested in what happened after you left yesterday? She asked, clearly wanting to justify the hallmaster. But Brian was not interested in this information. Are you cunning, or simply have no aspirations in this life? She hastily concluded. Brian explained his reluctance to know by saying that he was simply afraid of death and feared the consequences. 
Defender May laughed at this answer. She did not understand why the sect was so dangerous in his eyes. But the young man explained that the entire continent seemed dangerous to him, and not just the contemplation sect. The mentor admitted that he was right in this matter, because the rules of the sect are aimed specifically at developing caution in students. That is why she entrusted her girls to him, because they are so simple-minded. Perhaps meeting Brian was fate. Our hero denied the fate of their meeting and blamed everything on chance. But there was no time to discuss this, because they had already come to the master. Little Brian, why didn't you pick up the daffodil yesterday? The hallmaster asked cheerfully. The young man replied that he was too drunk and didn't remember anything, clearly trying to get closer to her. Ha, but I warned you that I'm very good at alcohol battles. We can repeat it. But Defender May certainly didn't appreciate Shima's jokes. She caught her menacing gaze and immediately got down to business. I heard from May's protector that I was the first to get drunk yesterday, so victory is yours, you can take the daffodil and don't forget to take care of my flowers. Brian thanked the master for this and said that he remembered her order. Shima let everyone go to continue painting. Our hero bowed politely in farewell. But Defender May had no intention of leaving anywhere. She sat comfortably in a chair next to the master and calmly sipped tea. The hall master was surprised, because today, it was Mrs. May's turn to walk around the hall, but she deftly got out of it, saying she had already a sked for protector soon, so there was nothing stopping her from being here all day. This clearly ruined the plans of the hallmaster. She was unhappy. Shima, without hesitation, used the technique of hidden communication, begging Brian to somehow send the protector May away in order to continue drinking together. Brian pretended that he didn't understand anything in order to somehow evade it. She continued to talk to him secretly, but he decided to quickly end it. Protector May, the head of the hall, said that she wants to continue drinking, so I hope you will leave. Apparently, they both did not expect such a multi-step move. The mentor fell into a rage because the master forgot their agreement. But she tried to blame everything on Brian. May, like a strict mother, scolded Shima for his stupidity. The hall master humbly admitted she was wrong and calmed down. Even though these two were a pain in Brian's ass, at least he managed to get the seeds easily. A week later, our hero was in his garden of purple bamboo, carefully rustling around a new plant. However, the fruits of his efforts were visible on the other flowers. He suddenly remembered another tenant of his estate. It was a scolopendra he found. He took good care of it, and the environment was pleasant for it. The little creeper was well disposed towards him. Apparently the previous owner did not particularly like her. Brian, looking around his possessions, concluded that there really is not enough space here. He returned the centipede to the house and decided not to bother, because sooner or later, there would be a way out. Suddenly our hero was notified that the head of the hall, Kim, wanted to see him. The young man understood that hiding forever would not work, so he promised to come immediately. Brian prepared himself to enter there, expecting to receive a reprimand and new blackmail. He knocked politely and entered. I knew you could do it. You are the best student in our hall. The hallmaster rushed in with praise. He came closer to the stunned Brown, clapping her on the shoulder, and said that May's defender had agreed to cooperate. He was very happy and expected to hear such good news earlier, because he was already starting to worry. Our hero did not understand how the defender May agreed so quickly, without any persuasion. I will give you a piece of land in the depths of the hill. There will be more aura than what you have now. The head of the hall said contentedly. Brian knew that the issue with the land would be settled over time. There was no need to worry. Master Kim sat the load down at the table with tea and still did not stop talking, rejoicing at the possibility of an alliance. But at what cost it was possible to do this? Only Brian knew. Meanwhile, in the Water Mirror Hall, Protector May spoke to the students. She notified them of the upcoming match with the Blue Heart Hall in three days and asked the girls to behave with dignity so as not to disgrace themselves. This surprised everyone, and questions and whispers started pouring in. It dawned on Amelia that the Blue Heart Hall was the place where Brian's older brother taught. The triplets also caught the essence of the matter and joyfully hurried towards her. Protector May threateningly calmed down the noise among the students, adding that the reason for this match was the interest of the Blue Heart Hall in cooperation in order to learn from each other. Brian's former companions praised heaven for the fact that their prayers were heard. They restlessly rejoiced among themselves. Amelia even suggested holding a meeting before going to meet her older brother. It was necessary to make a plan. The triplets took the meeting seriously and immediately offered their services with baked goods, tea, and incense. Amelia considered the incense unnecessary, but Eve was sure that this would create the right atmosphere. 
Sarah, in turn, offered her room for arrangement, and Amelia sensitively offered to take notes and made an appointment for 11 o'clock. This suited everyone. Admiring the night views, the girls arrived at Sarah's room on time, as agreed. Throwing open the doors, the triplets entered their destination, looking around to see if there was a tail behind them. Already in the room, they fussed with impatience, but the first thing they did was put the prepared snacks on the table. In the wonderful atmosphere of incense, Amelia began a conversation with the sisters about various precautions when communicating with Brian. She decided to start with a few important points. Coming from the brother's rule of not telling anyone about what he did, we can conclude that he is very competent in many areas, but wants outsiders to know about it, Amelia noted. Sarah thought, rubbing her chin. Amelia wrote down several areas in which Brian understands. These included weaving, healing, incense, formations, alchemy, cartography, cooking, painting, and calligraphy. The sisters could not understand how she could find out about his abilities in calligraphy and painting. To this, Amelia provided them with a drawing book, which Brian handed to her. She was sure that this was his work, because there was no such thing on sale. Amelia unfolded the book. The sisters gathered in a group for a more detailed study. The book really inspired admiration. The work was high quality and neat. The triplets admired with their mouths open, because it took them two years to simply learn to draw at home. Eve recognized her brother's incredible talent, and it seems that everything he knows about, he can do. Do you have anything to add to what I wrote? Amelia asked the girls. Sarah added to Brian's list of talents the ability to do hidden techniques. This surprised everyone. She explained this by saying that on the night when her older brother saved her, even under the influence of drugs, she felt that the smoke covered her five senses, and it was he who released the smoke. The girls unanimously recognized our hero as unpredictable. Three days later, preparations were already in full swing for the match between the Water Mirror and Blue Heart Halls. Boys and girls crowded near the arena, joyfully greeting each other. Our Brian fan club has already discussed a plan of action. They came to the conclusion not to welcome the bar into the crowd and not to reveal his abilities to outsiders. Suddenly, the Hallmaster Kim and the Protector May came out to the students. The public praised Master Kim for his appearance and achievements. He greeted the students from the Water Mirror Hall, introduced himself and said that he would personally conduct the match in order to give the students the opportunity to learn something new. The audience gave a standing ovation for such a beautiful speech. Master Kim announced the start of the competition. Together with the Defender May, they drank tea and watched the match. Master Kim was delighted with so many students gathered. But for the Defender, it was a common thing. In such a matter as cooperation between two halls, both hall masters must be personally present. But apparently Master Shima trusts you very much since she sent you on her behalf. The Master of the Blue Heart Hall flattered his beloved. Master Kim kept asking whether the Defender was comfortable, whether the place for viewing was suitable for her. Complete attention and care. She only thanked her and asked her not to bother. Defender May drew his attention to the fact that the match had already begun, but all his attention was only on her. At the moment when Amelia was looking for her older brother among everyone, the rest of the young men from the crowd could not stop admiring her and praise the master of the hall for the opportunity to contemplate such beauty. Meanwhile, Brian was distributing valuable instructions on caring for plants to Master Shima's assistant, who eagerly took notes on everything. Was it really a good idea not to go to the match today? The hallmaster asked with a grin. Brian was surprised that she stayed too, but Shima believed that she was the master of the hall and this was a privilege. Then I too, as a personal registered student, have privileges, Brian answered sarcastically. The master considered him the only one she had seen who exercised his privileges with such an arrogant face. But she even liked this about him, so she suggested that the young man do something interesting while the protector May was away. Brian exhaled ambiguously. At the beginning of the day, he noticed a hormonal surge in his brothers, who were trying to prettify themselves for their sisters, and this, for good reason, caused him anxiety. Because if Amelia or the other girls from the Water Mirror Hall had even waved at him, let alone greeted him, it would have clearly angered the brothers, and the system would have instantly bombarded him with options. It seemed to him that he was able to avoid problems. But here's another one. Shima fervently invited the young man to play, but Brian quickly besieged her, saying that she was the master of the hall, and she should fulfill her duties. By the way, it was not too late to return to the match. Master Shima flatly refused, because being the head of the hall is not her whim. Our hero advised her to find another student for entertainment, because he has his own business. They don't even dare look in my direction, let alone play! Shima shouted. I don't dare either! 
Brian stood his ground. She was not happy with this arrangement. Behave yourself, master. I still have to teach Sophie how to care for flowers. The young man calmly continued his business. But Shima headed somewhere menacingly, ordering her to wait here. The head of the hall came with a very valuable attribute that could clearly be of interest to Brian. Do you know what this is, baby? She asked, clearly knowing the value of this item. The system provided response options. Option 1. Say the name of the attribute, Fruit of the Baby's Soul. Zhan High Rank Award. Option 2. Express Surprise. Huan Highest Rank Award. Option 3. Confusion. Reward, plus. One random basic skill point. He was frightened by the presence of such a rare and inaccessible thing in Shima's possession. One could only guess who it really was. But Brian carried out the third option and expressed bewilderment. For this, I received Plusy One to my physique. The master of the hall told with superiority that this fruit of the baby soul can help a person on the verge of life and death. Brian knew that this material was rightfully on the treasure list. Shima, as soon as she saw Brian's interest, realized that he could be exploited. Although judging by the system options, the soul of a baby is not a very simple thing. Our hero was determined to get it. After all, his goal was to become the strongest in the world, so that the system would never again award rewards beyond basic skill. When Brian first came to the sect, the system gave a choice ten times a day. But today in the contemplation sect, there are fewer and fewer people, and things that could threaten him. Once the young man becomes stronger, no one will be able to threaten him anymore, and there will no longer be difficult options. All that remains is to get Shima's treasure. But how? I'll give you this material if you have fun with me. The Hallmaster slyly confronted Brian with a fact. He was very angry at such extravagance. At the stage of meeting the master of the hall, it seemed to him that she was testing him. But now it is clear that Shima simply decided to instill fear. She is not capable of anything cunning. While the master of the hall came around with provocations, our hero thought for a long time. Master Shima has not attended official events for five years. Protector Mei takes care of everything. Tired of work, she still has rare treasures in her hands, even knowing about which could bring him trouble. This means she is very influential and has a smart and cunning close friend. If this person finds out even the slightest thing, there will be trouble. But Shima is taking time away from his duties to play, and the top leadership of the sect clearly knows about this. Perhaps they agree to this so that she does not harm the sect. Patronage is of course good, but you need to be more careful with it and better keep it at a distance. Brian agreed to play because it was too generous an offer. Defender Mei was returning from a match and heard suspicious screams from the Hallmaster's chambers. She realized that the head of the hall was having fun again, while she had to blush when communicating with Master Kim. The Defender even clenched her fist out of anger. Mei opened the doors with her feet, clearly in the mood for conflict and showdown. Sophie, Brian, and Shima sat friendly at the table playing something. They clearly did not expect to see an evil woman. Ooh, Protector Mei is back, thank you for your hard work. The Hallmaster was already sweating from excitement. Mei scolded her for breaking her promise not to play with the student. But Shima made excuses, saying she didn't even drink today, as they agreed. After all, before he agreed to play, Brian gave an ultimatum. No alcohol. And you? Why were you fooling around with the Hallmaster again? Didn't I forbid you earlier? Mei reached the young man. The system provided options. Option 1. Say that the Hallmaster forced him. Juan's lowest rank award. Option 2. Say that you have learned the Defender's instructions and won't do it again. Schwan Midrank Award. Option 3. Continue playing and say that this is the only option to avoid competition. Reward plus one random base skill point, more or less. The hero continued the game, which caused bewilderment among the Defender. Noticing the Hallmaster's shock, Brian suggested that she finish the game, but Shima immediately joined the game saying that she was betting on more. Having counted the resulting number, the young man announced that it was less than nine, and he slapped a piece of paper on her forehead for losing the move. Now it was her turn to shake the bones. Shima was so carried away that she did not immediately notice Mei's withering gaze behind her. Oh yes. Mei, do you want to play with us? The hallmaster asked with fear in her eyes. Brian, don't ignore me! The defender slammed the table. This was the only way to avoid competition between two halls. The young man answered calmly. The Hallmaster, at this moment, did not know where to go. I'm doing this for your own good, said the Defender. Then consider me to be nitpicking. 
he said ruthlessly and coldly. I wanted to give you a helping hand, making you a model among the students. May continued to press her point of view. Shima and Sophie could not understand how to behave in this quarrel. They were even a little scared. Forgive me, Brian, for imposing my path on you, knowing about your own. The defender accepted the wrong. Our hero did not accept her apology because words cannot mend broken crystal. She didn't understand what she had done so serious. The young man explained that although he was grateful to her for her experiences, he would no longer be able to treat her as an elder with whom he could have a heart-to-heart -heart talk and trust. The hallmaster and her assistant were horrified by Brian's words because no one in their right mind would say that outright. Protector May suddenly realized how much she had affected his feelings. She even felt a little ashamed. It's not good to quarrel. The hallmaster barely squeezed out. This is not a quarrel. I just brought clarity to our relationship, the young man said calmly. I apologize for not justifying your trust and acting selfishly. The defender admitted guilt. Immediately after her words, the system protected Poise One to the game of chess. The head of the hall was shocked by his behavior, because she could not afford this. She didn't understand why May was falling for this. If I improve, will you forgive me? The defender asked politely. Brian agreed to this barter, which left Shima even more shocked by his impudence. Defender May promised to prepare good compensation for the guy. The company invited her to join the game. No more games! The woman made it clear. Brian bowed and decided to leave first, so as not to escalate the situation. Our hero left them in a good mood, because the compensation from the Defender promised to be enormous, given her level of power and influence. On one of the days of caring for the flowers, the master of the hall again began to pester the young man with entertainment. She couldn't wait to do something interesting. Brian suggested that she go fishing, but Shima found it boring. She liked poker much more, or guess what? A truly wonderful madam, she doesn't like wine but is looking forward to the opportunity to get drunk. She carries a pipe with her, but there is some kind of nasty stuff inside that she doesn't really know how to smoke. He loses all the time, but he is constantly eager to play more and more. It looked like a difficult childhood from which she had not yet grown out and was constantly rebelling. Brian asked Sophie if they had fish in the kitchen. She replied that there were a couple of perches lying around, to which the young man asked to be taken to the kitchen. What? Brian, will you cook? Shima asked admiringly. Yes, do you want to try? He asked intriguingly. The hallmaster obviously agreed. Our hero confidently entered the kitchen and went to the ingredients. He carefully cleaned the fish. Interested in the process, the young man added spices like a pinch of magic. The girls kept their eyes on his every move and admired the wonderful aroma. When asked about the ingredients, he only answered with a smile, secret. Brian cooked so quickly and deftly, everything around was boiling, steaming and smelling delicious, which made the audience admire more and more. And now, the food of the gods is ready. Can I try? Can? The hallmaster asked impatiently. Brian gave the go-ahead, carefully placing the dish on the table. And she literally attacked the fish, as if she had been starving for a week. Sophie and Shima admired the perfectly cooked fish, the meat of which caused a food orgasm in the girls' mouths. The hallmaster asked the young man to prepare a couple more pieces. Fresh ones will taste much better. Would you like to go fishing? He manipulated a little. Yes! Want! Let's go fishing! Shima shouted fervently. Brian understood that drinking with her every day would not be enough for his health, so resting in nature was a good idea. Sensing a wonderful aroma from the kitchen, Protector May entered. The head of the hall immediately began to show off the hero's delicious dish and also invited her to go fishing for company. Mai did not expect that the hallmaster would agree to go fishing, because it was difficult for her to stand still for a second. Will you join? The young man asked May in the same way. She refused, citing important matters, but asked the guy to come closer because she had prepared something for him. These are the seeds of maidenhair. It was very difficult to get them. Enough to make amends? May asked, holding the magic box. Brian was pleased and joyfully grabbed the box of seeds. He thanked the defender and said that he was no longer offended by her. May accepted the fact that there was no point in putting pressure on him, because she believed that they were connected by fate so they needed to give him the right to choose. The defender thanked the guy for taking Shima to fish instead of gambling and drinking, and also asked him to treat him to the prepared catch. Brian promised that he would cook her the biggest one that evening. After some time, our hero sat at the new cultivation site, admiring every grain of sand. A scream was suddenly heard behind me which was approaching. Suddenly a dove flew up to him, and it gently landed on the young man's finger. It was a carrier pigeon, so in its legs there was a letter apparently addressed to Brian. 
His younger brother Un sent word that three monsters were marveling in the birch forest. This interested the hero, he decided to take time for a walk. While in the city of Mintsui, our hero confidently, but secretly, walked through the shopping area. Brian approached the establishment, where he was met by a servant and escorted to the desired table. O went upstairs to his waiting younger brother. Un waved his hand so that he could be seen better. The system window has loaded options. Option 1. Ask directly about special beasts. The reward is the lowest level of the black phase. Option 2. Ask about the heartthrob sect. The reward is the middle level of the yellow phase. Option 3. Just chat about nonsense. Reward. Plus 1. Random base attribute. It seemed dangerous to talk about something important in a crowded place. Having chosen the option of chatting for himself, he non-intrusively asked, Have you heard about the disaster in the city of Hedon? Locust invasion. Even several people died. We hope it doesn't hit us. The hero continued to speak, confusing Un. Brian sensed that there was a person in the inn on the fourth level of the black phase. He even wondered if this man might know about the treasures in the forest. In any case, he completed the third option, and the system credited plus one to flexibility. Immediately after this, they set off. The servant politely saw them off and said goodbye. There is someone in the black phase in the hotel. I don't know which cell he came from. Maybe explore the forest. Brian shared his observations with his brother. Un did not understand what such a strong man should do here. But our hero asked him to be careful and tell him what was happening in that forest. The younger brother said that in addition to the second level formidable beast, there is also the Zhuan beast and the second level bloody shadow. Relying on his instincts and fortune-telling skills, he suggested that his brother rest first and then go into the forest around nine in the evening. At the appointed time, they were already wandering through the forest in the light of the moon. The system window was not left aside. Option 1. Go straight to the birch forest. Reward. Average level of the black phase. Option 2. Go to the forest at 1 in the morning. Mid-level yellow phase reward. Option 3. Ask Un to use the mysterious Numa. Reward plus 1 random base attribute. It seems that it was not for nothing that he suspected something was wrong back at the hotel. Brian ordered his younger brother to use a mysterious Numa to accelerate. He did not argue, and agreed. All the power of technology gathered at the guy's feet, and they could already afford to compete in speed with light or sound. Brian felt that they were being followed, but they were not using Numa, but were being secretly pursued. This was not an accident. In addition, for completing the task, the system added plus one to floristry. In the birch forest, one of those standing on guard, Kamal, was informed that two cultivators were heading into the forest. Kamal asked how strong they were. One is at the ninth level of the mountain phase, and the second is only at the fifth level of meditation. They answered him. The guy was going to report to his superiors. After notifying the boss, he received a direct order to kill these two named guests before the beasts began to fight. Kamal conveyed the order of his superiors to his partners and asked them not to mock the poor fellows, as usual in a barbaric manner. Suddenly the connection was interrupted. He could no longer sense the presence of the boss. At that moment, Kamal was powerfully hit in the teeth. The boss was stunned by the well-executed maneuver of the enemies. People, hurry to me, we've been invaded, he yelled high up in the tree. This cry was also heard by the animals who were about to fight among themselves. The boss realized that it was dangerous, but still their presence could give them the opportunity to escape if necessary. Brian and Un extinguished everyone in turn, quickly, deftly, and mercilessly. The man on the side could not watch how his younger sister and brother were being killed. He was fiercely eager to fight with the words, Ah, I will fight you to the death! Brian was surprised by this reaction. He's not the villain here, but what can you do? It was their initiative to contact them. So our hero knocked down this mad mess with one blow. In a split second, all opponents were crushed. Our boys only looked around. Un admired the strength of his older brother, because with a snap of his fingers, he managed to neutralize all these people. He even considered himself a little useless compared to him. But this was an incentive for him to grow further. Brian gave the command to take care of the bodies and find out where they came from. Hey, nobody allowed you to leave. Sit! The hero menacingly addressed the animals. Once upon a time, evil monsters trembled in fear of Brian. They obediently sat down and wagged their tails like tame ones. Un found out that these people are from the Huosha Palace, whose organization is on Ankang Island. Having looked closely at the lips of the girl lying on the ground, he took a little of her lipstick on his finger. Smell? What does it smell like? He asked his younger brother. He suggested that it was hydrangea. But Brian demanded a precise answer, not speculation. 
then unrepeated in the affirmative that it was a hydrangea. Head, quickly. The hero prepared to punish his brother. He already knew what was waiting for him and really didn't want to get it. But you can't hide from the harsh crack of your older brother, and he still got it. These lipsticks have a mixed scent of rose and orchid. They are expensive cosmetics for the city of Mintsui. Where do you think is the closest place to buy them? Brian pointed towards the goal. Anhuo City. Un answered confidently. Correct, but it's better to check, so you need to go there and find clues. Now repeat the purpose of the investigation, the hero said, shaking the things of the attackers. Our goal is to gain profit. If we fail, then remain vigilant, Brother Un clearly stated. Brian shook out the coins from the bag and asked his friend their origin. He began to list the regions, including their native one, Zangbai. These coins show their route from Anzang Island all the way to here, stated the elder brother. Unnoticed that these people could also have passed through the Wusong Pass. Hide the coins, and at the same time, tell me why. The hero continued testing his brother's knowledge. We should not use our hometown coins to buy things outside of our city. The baby answered. Brian was pleased with the answer. Our hero shook out the entire contents of those people's bag. There was a lot of stuff in there, but his attention was attracted by the scroll. Having unfolded it, he saw a portrait of an ugly guy, but for some reason he was very familiar to him. Unassumed that these people were looking for him. Brian noticed their incompetence, because something like this should be burned immediately. The system pulled the options. Option 1. Ask Un to find out about this person on the scroll. Mid-level black phase reward. Option 2. Find out everything about him yourself. Mid-level yellow phase reward. Option 3. Pretend you didn't see anything. Reward was 1. Random special attribute. The reward in the form of a special attribute to please the young man, because it was very generous. Okay, that's all for today. I see that you like these animals. The hero said to his younger brother, automatically receiving plus one to breathing. He was pleased with this bonus because breathing points are very useful in restoring physical strength. Un admitted that he really wanted to fight with them. Brian gave the go-ahead. His pupil was very happy about this opportunity, as if this was his star's hour. You two, the one who fights him will be able to calmly leave here if he wins. The hero turned to the animals. But they didn't understand a damn thing. Brian was a little taken aback by the fact that, being at the second level, they had not learned to recognize people's speech. With indignation, our hero grabbed one of them by the tail and pulled him along. The animal resisted and growled. Shut up! He besieged the beast. He gave the signal to the beast to fight with Un, but he only looked at him in fear. Elder brother, you have completely intimidated the Thunder Beast. He won't be able to fight me at full strength. Brian made it clear to the animal that he would be screwed if he didn't win. The beast understood everything and in fear for its life activated all its power. The earthly man became nervous, begging his older brother not to anger the little animal. The Thunder Beast and Un stood in combat readiness. Brian announced the start of the battle. And a mayhem for life began the beast attacked the enemy and growled fiercely. The animal picked up speed and flew straight towards its younger brother. Having prepared his blades, it seemed to him that this was a successful technique to defeat the enemy. Small blades were aimed straight at the beast at high speed. He failed to repel the attack so they pierced his skin. Un was glad that the technique of hiding energy that his elder brother taught him was very useful. 1365. In battle, the cultivator releases mystical pneuma with every movement, making it predictable. The energy concealment formula masks the pneuma, and the enemy has no advantage. Words of instruction from Brian, in one of his lessons. The younger brother gained confidence in himself, took out a blade and flew at the beast with all his might. I even managed to strike him again. This was also Brian's merit, because the sword with which he fought was made by his elder brother. And a second level beast cannot withstand such weapons. The kid got a little distracted in his joy. He had to pay for this. The animal directed one of its tails towards the guy to attack. He tried to fight off the attack with his sword, but the power of the beast was greater, and the boy was thrown straight into the ground. And this is all that the first student in the region is capable of? Brian was indignant on the sidelines. Un was not going to give up and quickly stood up. I took a pill to restore my strength. He grabbed his sword sharply, but suddenly a third beast appeared. It was too late to dodge, because the beast was very strong. Hey, are you scared? Well, answer me. Brian appeared in the blink of an eye, grabbing the animal by the mouth. He asked the fighters to postpone the fight a little. Un, standing on the verge of life and death, 
quietly thanked his older brother, but he only said that the baby had room to grow. And you are brave. I thought you'd be hiding behind a rock all the time. Our hero teased the fierce beast. He twitched and tried to escape from the man's hands. Just stand still! Brian powerfully planted the beast. The animal got angry and used its mystical pneuma, but this did not frighten the hero. It only interested him. Okay, I'll give you a chance to attack me with all your might. Brian calmly said to the beast, letting go of its mouth. He moved away and waited with particular cynicism for the attack. The animal gathered all its strength and began to attack. Without even having time to run close, the beast received a slap in the face from his older brother, which he clearly did not expect. During this fight, Brian calmly managed to talk with Un. He offered to ride a special beast like this one, but the younger brother was not sure that he could control this animal. The beast was very angry and attacked again, but like last time, I got hit in the face. Well, are you giving up? The hero asked dominantly. The beast was clearly hysterical. He doesn't want to give up, but he knows he won't win, so he goes crazy, scratching the tree. Brian kept trying to convince Una to tame the animal, because the red Numa is unique and has great potential. But the kid was still afraid that he wouldn't be able to control him without Brian's presence. Then you will have to train him correctly, said the hero, clearly planning something. Don't run away, I won't hit you, he said to the cute little beast who was hiding behind a tree. Hey, stand, you still won't be able to escape. Brian moved frighteningly behind the animal's back. I see that you understand my speech, let's shake hands. He shook the tree with all his might, for the sake of credibility. The beast had no choice but to give him a paw. While petting the new furry, he ordered Un and the animal standing next to him not to stare, but to fight. They exchanged gestures, and a powerful massacre began. Five minutes later, the fight was completed in Un's favor. His older brother praised him, but the boy knew that it was hard for him and he should work on himself. Brian gave valuable instructions on more practices, but, in principle, the fact that he defeated a beast at a level higher than his own is a good result. He gave the baby a pill to restore strength and asked him to rest a little. The beast also received the hero's kind word. The young man also gave the thunder beast something to drink, because he was no less tired. Una's last furry opponent lay motionless on the grass. He was very weak to condense the mystical fire essence. Brian patted his stomach and ordered him to behave. Has the flower of heavenly thunder blossomed? The hero asked the beast he had recently tamed. He pointed with his paw in the direction of the plant of interest to the owner. Brian knew that this flower collects the power of thunder, thanks to which, from pills made from it, you can get not only resistance to thunder, but also the power of thunder in your attacks. But before he went after him, the young man decided to give his friends time to rest. BBQ time, the elder brother said temptingly. Un caught a wonderful aroma and realized that Brian was preparing something tasty. The animals also drooled. Hmm, the meat of the Soul Eater beast is truly delicious, the hero joked darkly. The animals did not immediately catch the humor, so I was a little shocked. Having eaten until they were full, the group praised Brian's work in cooking and thanked him for such a nice dinner. The hero was shamanizing something in his hands, saying that everything was almost ready. Yes, I almost forgot. He turned to the guys. The young man ordered the bloody shadow to open its mouth. He deftly threw the pill to the unsuspecting beast. You just took a slow-acting poison. In ten days you will be torn apart. But if you are very strong, you will last a maximum of a month, and then it will still be torn apart. Our hero confronted the animal with a fact. The beast was as indignant as he could. But Brian calmed him down, saying that Und would bring him the antidote to the forest once a month. The younger brother was not very happy about this news because he was a little afraid of the beast. Bayan added that the antidote would need to be taken 17 or 18 times. But now we need to go for the flower. Together our team went to the goal. Coming closer to the thunder flower, they were able to see all its beauty. Wow, I feel its power even from here, said Un admiringly. The system pulled the options. Option 1, carefully examine the flower, reward of the highest level of the black phase. Option 2, move 50 meters back. Reward, plus one random base attribute. Naturally, the young man decided to retreat. Having moved to the required distance, the system counted plus one to chess. At that moment, they observed a wonderful natural phenomenon. It was heavenly sorrow, a feature of this particular plant. Brian was very happy that he managed to find such a unique flower. The spectacle was truly colorful. You don't see something like this every day. The spiritual flower passed through the ninth level thunder tribulation. It was amazing. But the system intervened again. Option 1. Wait and then pick up the flower. Mid-level earth phase reward. Option 2. Pick up the flower 
and eat it. Mid-level black phase reward. Option 3. Take the flower and quickly leave. Reward. Plus one random base attribute. Go get rid of the bodies, and I'll come now. The hero gave instructions to his brother. He obediently obeyed. He also did not leave the animals idle and ordered help to Un. Brian had no doubt that such crazy and bright thunder would attract someone's attention. He was amazed that the flower was able to absorb and digest the power of thunder. Having done the job, he hid the plant in a safe place. Their adventure was coming to an end and they had to leave. Brian also gave the animals the go-ahead to go about their business. But the red shadow reminded me of the monthly antidote. The guys left, saying goodbye to the animals. Unsearched the bodies and showed everything he found to his elder brother. Hmm, weapons and medicine are worth something. We'll take it with us and sell it. Brian said, looking at the find. The younger brother hid the find, agreeing with the hero's words. Having finished all his work, Brian gave the command to return. The young man moved like a ray of light in the air. Un had no time and asked to wait. Why hasn't your speed improved at all? The hero asked his brother. No, I trained very hard, you're just too fast. The guy answered, barely breathing. Are you sure? Brian asked with some sarcasm. No, you're right, I'm too slow. I will train hard. And was already starting to get nervous. This is exactly what the elder brother wanted to hear. After some time, they had already arrived at the contemplation sect. The system immediately left the options. Option 1. Go up the mountain through the main gate. Mid-level mystic phase reward. Option 2. Go around the back of the mountain. Reward. Plus one random base attribute point. Brian instructed his brother to return to the mountain alone because he still had business to do. O gave Unu a white bottle with an antidote a gray and blue bottle with treats for special animals. And he reminded that the taming of the bloody shadow is now in his hands. Are you going to leave me alone with this beast? Asked the younger brother with horror. Are you afraid? Asked the elder brother with contempt. But Un was sure that if the beast got angry, he would not win. Brian didn't even want to listen to this negative mood. But the kid immediately pulled himself together and promised to conquer the animal. Un remembered something and called out to the hero, who was about to leave. Here are the materials you asked to find. I'm still waiting for news about Silver Bone Ore, he said, holding out his palm to his older brother. Brian was delighted with the spoils, but it was not clear why Un did not give everything away immediately upon meeting. The younger brother explained this by saying that during the battle with the Thunder Beast, he felt a breakthrough. So he planned to enter closed cultivation for a while, and felt that it was during this period that it was worth giving away the spoils. Brian was pleased with the way he was thinking, so he asked the kid to report on his affairs and return to facilitate the breakthrough. Un did not expect such a generous gesture, but he bowed as a sign of gratitude, and when he straightened up, his older brother was no longer there. He really thought Brian was smart, respected, and indifferent to fame and fortune. He even made him a standard to look up to. Our hero walked around the mountain, and for this, he received plus one to strength from the system. Again the choice was sent before him. Option 1. Plant a thunder flower here. Reward of the highest level of the black phase. Option 2. Plant it in a mirror garden. The highest level reward of the yellow phase. Option 3. Find another landing site. Reward plus 1. Random base attribute. Brian was surprised by this. Will the thunder flower continue to summon lightning? But I still decided not to rush yet and find a place another time. By that time, Un had already returned, and they set off to do what they had planned. Brian was preparing the energy array with all his might. He prepared and laid out the necessary talismans and asked his younger brother to enter. The baby was touched and shed a tear. He was extremely grateful to his older brother and swore that he would be faithful to him until death. Brian interrupted this sentimental moment, took his hand and ordered him to sit down. Next was the command to activate your energy. Unfulfilled the hero's words without any problems. Brian completed some details. Now everything depended only on the younger brother. The kid thanked him and concentrated. He understood that there was no room for error. This time he must definitely break through. I collected my thoughts and plunged into the process. There was complete commotion in the courtyard. It was full of people and everyone was crowding together as if at a sale. What happened? Our hero was puzzled. After asking one of the students, he learned that everyone had gathered to play chess with representatives of the Blue Heart Hall. For the first time in five years of being in the sect, Brian saw such public love for chess. But a passerby explained this through the efforts of a representative of the Blue Heart and Water Mirror Hall. The young man reacted to this with misunderstanding, because the priority was always practice, and only then games. But anyway, that's their business. 
Emerging from the crowd of students, our hero entered the room. He found a poetic note from Lana. Then he found the girl's work in the rice cooker, which she sent to him for criticism. There was also a note from Luis, who didn't find him, so he wrote it. Brian was very happy that his older brother Lou left a message. Therefore, I finished my business and went to Louis. The hero came to the Flying Feather Hall, knocked on the door and introduced himself. Opening the door, his elder brother gladly greeted the young man and invited him to enter. Louis said that he heard about the collaboration between the Water Mirror Hall and the Blue Heart, but Brian didn't want to pursue this topic, so he immediately asked why he was looking for him. With a hint of embarrassment, Lou asked his brother for pills, because he had already run out of them, and it was difficult to find an alternative. Our hero didn't see a problem with this, and immediately gave us two bottles, promising to make more. In return, the elder brother handed the young man notes on the mental cultivation method, hoping that they would help Brian. This act did not leave the young man indifferent. He bowed and thanked Louis. This was no problem for Louis, especially since it was payment for the pills he needed. Lou warned that he was soon going to enter closed cultivation, because he had learned something new about the cultivation method and wanted to practice quietly. So if he needed anything, he asked him to contact his elder brother Kang. Brian wished Louis luck, but thought about the need for preparation. Since the brother was close to a breakthrough, it was necessary to find a phoenix flower, which could be in the Water Mirror Hall. Meanwhile, a visitor came to the master of the Water Mirror Hall. Sophie notified her about this. Is this Brian? She asked with joy and hope. But alas, it was the guardian of the chaotic star hall, Tamir. Shima didn't want to see him, so she asked her assistant to say that she wasn't here. Sophie insisted on this meeting, because the protector may ordered to meet elders from other halls, at least out of politeness. The head of the hall had to agree. Shima directly, without ceremony, asked about the purpose of his guest's visit. Defender Tamir has arrived on behalf of his hallmaster to discuss an important topic. Does your leader also want to cooperate with us? The woman immediately understood. This was indeed the very important question for which he had come. The hallmaster quickly dismissed the defender, because she was not going to team up with anyone else. She didn't even want to listen to his proposals and arguments because she had already heard a million of them. Therefore, she asked the guest to leave. Sophie was proud of the behavior of the hallmaster. Officialdom suited her. But Shima was still waiting for Brian, because she couldn't wait to eat fish or play. Sophie noticed that Brother Brian was busy. The master of the hall sensed the presence of her pet and rushed to meet him. The young man calmly greeted this madam. Why didn't you come to play with me yesterday? Shima whined like a child. Brian explained that he had a lot to do. You will play with me for half a day to make up for your guilt. The capricious young lady threw a hysterical fit. Brian agreed, but wanted to take care of the flowers first. Shima followed on his heels and pestered him, but the hero did not pay attention, because business was a priority. The master of the hall had to come to terms. Brian diligently worked on plants. He was sorry that such wonderful flowers could not be taken from cuttings. Having finished, he told the hall master that he had brought a new game. The woman's eyes shone. She was very interested. She asked to show and tell her everything. Sophie, come. The three of us will have more fun playing. The hero called the girl. Me? She clarified worriedly. Yes, you are. The young man has already laid out the game on the table. Shima appreciated all the details, because it was Brian's handiwork. He promised to send her a few more of these if she liked it. Of course she likes it, she's like a child. The young man called the game Heroes and Feats, and was sure that the girl would be delighted with it. After a while, the Defender May returned. She heard the shouts of the Hallmaster, who was clearly engrossed in the game. The woman was furious because she plows all day instead of this lazy woman. And what's more, Sophie also got involved in these games. Oh, now it won't be sweet for everyone. What kind of game is this time? May shouted angrily as she entered the room. Sophie froze with fear. The girl bowed in greeting, listening to the defender's criticism. Why don't you join? We are just missing a fourth player. Brian decided to brighten the situation. But May did not appreciate such courage. The game is called Heroes and Feats. It is from the Fu region. The young man continued not reacting to the woman's aggression. But having calmed down a little, she noticed that Shima had stopped wearing tattoos, did not smoke, and dressed decently. May, let me finish this round, please, the hallmaster begged. Sophie and Shima begged to be allowed to finish just one round. May gave the go-ahead, and the players immediately rushed to throw the dice. The girls became enthusiastic. Even the modest Sophie could not tear herself away from the progress of the game and actively participated. An hour later, Shima got the desired four on the die, 
She advanced her pawn and occupied Heroic Island with it. This was her victory. So the Hallmaster solemnly slapped a piece of paper on Brian's forehead. The hero ironically praised Shima for such achievements. But she did not understand the irony, so she triumphed and boasted of her brilliant mind. Let's play again. Forgetting about the protector, the master said. But feeling her piercing gaze behind her, she immediately remembered her promise. Brian decided not to escalate everything, so he said that he still needed to finish his business. Shima begged the young man to come tomorrow. He promised to try. Thank you for trying so hard these last days, the defender said after him. He pretended that he was simply entertaining Shima and nothing more. Not every student can easily entertain the head of our hall, said May. Brian thanked her for the chance. When she asked if the guy knew why he was allowed to be near Shima, the system threw up options. Option 1. Voice your opinion. Reward of the lowest level of the black phase. Option 2. Listen to her. The highest level reward of the yellow phase. Option 3. Be indifferent. Reward plus one, random base attribute. I don't care, answered the young man. The defender was infuriated that he did not want to discuss this. But Brian asked not to complicate his life because he felt danger. He thought to himself that if it weren't for the spiritual fruit, then no one would have seen him here anymore. Brian reflected that the system appears when he helps Shima with bad habits. Even if she has an influential roof, then our hero should be in favor for his services to this influential figure. By the way, your hallmaster asked you to come to him. May said to catch up with the guy. He bowed to her in farewell and thanked her for the information. Head, did you want to see me? Arriving at the purple garden of the blue heart, Brian asked. Master Kim was indignant that the young man was always difficult to find. Brian decided to dodge criticism, so he said, To avoid misunderstandings, I will tell you the truth. The master of the hall did not understand what kind of truth we were talking about at all. For the sake of our alliance with the water mirror hall, I made a promise to their hall master to take care of the plants in the mirror garden. The hero turned on his acting to the maximum. Kim's face immediately changed and he appreciated his contribution to the affairs of the Blue Heart Hall. To relieve tension, the master suggested drinking some tea. Entering the room, the young man suddenly noticed the shelves. There are a lot more cups with Mrs. May's lipstick imprint on them. 1573. Recently, the hundred-year-old head of the lunar sect broke through to the Black Phase stage and emerged from closed cultivation. Therefore, he decided to throw a magnificent feast and invite all the smaller sects. Master Kim shared the reason for the meeting. Brian noticed for himself that soon the status of the lunar sect would skyrocket. How can I help you? The young man asked alarmedly. Young talents will compete, answered the master. I know what you think, but these competitions are not only about combat, he reassured the guy. Master Kim said that in addition to military competitions, there will also be music, calligraphy, drawing, and chess. The Lunar Sect has prepared a big reward for the winners with the highest scores. You are the best chess player in the Zhangbai region, even in the entire state. Therefore, I want you to participate on behalf of our sect. The master of the hall put forward his wishes. The system provided options. Option 1. Outright refusal. Reward of the highest level of the Earth phase. Option 2. Dissuade the head from competing. Reward of the highest level of the Black Phase. Option 3. Leave the Sect. Reward of the lowest level of the Black Phase. Option 4. Agree. Reward. Plus one random base attribute. Yes. The Sect has been preparing me for many years. I must do my best to repay it. Brian turned on his charm. Master Kim shed a tear from such a heartbreaking speech. Sorry. I lost control of my emotions. It always seemed like you were too proud and didn't respect your elders. The master waved the tears from his cheeks. It seems you really consider the sect your home. Kim continued. But Brian was embarrassed by such nagging. The hero was ready to participate. The master added that the competition would be in mid-September and asked not to forget to practice and take it seriously. Whether he wants it or not, he will have to. After all, with his frivolity, he can activate more complex tasks. There are two months left for the competition so the young man decided to prepare diligently. Meanwhile, in the Hall of the Water Mirror, a list of candidates was published. But for some reason, Sarah was not there. At night, the girl rehearsed in front of the mirror how she would give her older brother a gift for her salvation. At that moment, Amelia knocked on the door. I can fall asleep, so I took the cookies and came to you, said the night guest. Sarah was glad to see her, so she gladly let her in. Amelia treated her sister to cookies that she had made herself. 
She could not help but appreciate them because the sweets were wonderful. Glad you liked it. The girl was embarrassed by the praise. You came to console me, right? Sarah saw through her visit. She was offended that all the sisters except her were on that list of participants. Amelia praised her sister's musical abilities and encouraged her. But Sarah did not want consolation, because she liked martial arts more. But now, she keeps having dreams about that attack and would like to ask Brian about it. Our hero approached the flower pavilion of the Water Mirror Hall. Master Shima ran out to the meeting, he greeted her. She said that she learned something interesting and asked if he was interested in what. The system flashed options. Option 1. Ask what the news is. The reward is the lowest level of the black phase. Option 2. Say you're not interested. Reward, plus one, random base attribute. No, Brian answered coldly and briefly. But Shima was simply impatient to share the information. If you say so, I will leave. The young man was firm in his words. Everyone has their own beliefs. Defender May supported Brian. But the Hallmaster did not understand his reaction, because the news was good. The hero thanked the Defender for her support. The Hallmaster decided that if she didn't want news, then she could play. Don't be foolish. The Defender strictly besieged the Master's wishes. Shima ran after Brian with the figurine and asked him to get the game, because she was sure of her win. But the hero first wanted to settle things. Please, let's play first, the head of the hall insisted. As soon as Shima threw the dice, the Protector May entered the room. The Master has already begun to make excuses, saying that they have only just begun. But May was interested in Brian's consent to participate in competitions from the Lunar Sect. She did not understand why the previously passive young man suddenly took the initiative. As a member of the sect, I am obliged to defend its honor. The hero blatantly lied. The defender felt it. If someone else said this, I would believe it. But you? You are active only when the sect is on the verge of disaster, the woman noted. This lady clearly has a third eye somewhere, Brian thought. Catastrophe threatened. But he knew that compared to fighting competitions, he was number one in chess. Master Shima offered the hero a weapon for self-defense, because she was sure that with his physique, it was necessary. The system presented options. Option 1. Outright refusal. Reward. Average level of the black phase. Option 2. Evasive refusal. Reward is the lowest level of the yellow phase. Option 3. Accept the gift. Reward. Plus one random base attribute. It was strange. But what can you do? I will be grateful for the weapons provided. The hero accepted help. Defender May was surprised because she could not understand his train of thought. An unpredictable young man. Ooh, do you want to get a weapon? Shima asked slyly, hearing the interest. Then first make me happy, she added, clapping her hands. May was clearly not happy with this tomfoolery. I meant, if you can show me a more interesting way of this game, you will get a wonderful weapon. The Hallmaster straightened up. Brian agreed and received plus one to engraving from the system. Cool, let's go. Now I will show you how easy it is to win, shouted the restless Shima. Play for the last time. The defender besieged her intentions. The girl had to agree. And you, Brian, stop coming to play and spoiling Madam. May added in the afterbirth. The young man took her words into account. It was already late evening when our hero finished the games. He calmly returned to his room, quietly opening the door. He was very interested in getting acquainted with the materials that his elder brother gave him. The hero never thought that such a cultivation method existed. The records said that he could absorb spiritual energy from anything and channel it into the body as mystical energy. Until he completely rebuilds the body to the point of automatically absorbing spiritual energy or producing it independently. Brian was delighted with the gift because Louis had found something that suited our hero. He appreciated and respected his brother for believing in him. At that moment, someone threw a stone at the young man's door. He realized that only Lana could do this. Good evening, Brian. Sorry for the trouble. The girl used the technique of hidden dialogues. Having opened the door, he was confused because the girl was hiding behind a stone. Do you know about the competition for juniors of the Lunar Sect? Lana asked with a hidden technique, admiring him. Brian was already beginning to think that everyone was crazy about these competitions because that's all he heard about. Our leader asked us to take this seriously. Since I will be taking part in not only martial arts but also calligraphy, could you teach me a little? Still from behind the stone, the girl asked embarrassedly. The system presented response options. Option 1. Outright refusal. Mid-level black phase reward. Option 2. Say what you think. 
Reward of the lowest level of the yellow phase. Option 3. Ask what they will get in return. Reward. Plus one random base attribute. Brian could not understand the system's thinking. Why is refusing this dangerous girl not a safe option? It was worth being extremely careful. How are you going to pay? Having chosen the third option, he asked hiddenly. Brian's answer struck her right in the heart because he didn't refuse, and he told her so many words at once. Lana promised that the reward would be worthy, but asked for time to come up with the best way to thank her. The young man put something in a box and threw it straight into the beauty's hands. It was a note that contained the following text. Come the day after tomorrow at six in the morning to the pavilion near the village of Anlian. Lana thanked him and promised to be on time. The hero silently left and closed the door, holding the note in her hands. The girl was already imagining her and Brian's wedding, because suddenly on this date he would propose to her. She was even worried that her father would not consent to this marriage. But if necessary, she will make daddy change his mind. Beaming with happiness and her sick fantasies, Lana skipped off into the distance. Brian came to the hall of the water mirror. He greeted Sophie, who, like a bee, has been putting things in order since the very morning. Do you have guests? asked the young man. Sophie replied that it was the disciples from the Red Cloud sect who visited them today. Although he was interested in what they were here for, he did not intend to interfere, so he simply looked after the flowers. I want to send a reliable student with you, but he is busy. Even I, the head of the hall, cannot demand this from him. Master Shima justified Brian's indifference, but her guest said that there was no need for formalities and she did not need protection. Brian realized that this lady was not so simple, since she could cause the rewards of the Black Phase so he remained on the sidelines in order not to run into problems. He silently picked at the watering can, looking away from them. Shima was a little embarrassed by his behavior, but that's just the way he is. The ladies exchanged pleasantries and said goodbye. You're sorry, right? I wanted to send you and Iris back. She's the one who left now. But you didn't want to listen to my news. Shima ran after the young man. Thank you, madam. Just bad luck. He answered her coldly but he decided for himself that he never wanted to get involved with such beautiful and dangerous personalities. While sitting at the game, the master got a card, according to the terms of which the robbers take all her money. She rebelled because she took the games too literally, but rules are rules. Without them, the game is nowhere. I had to give it away. Despite her belittling not to take all the money, Brian strictly adhered to the gaming regulations and tried to force the master to do the same. Already according to tradition, at the most interesting place, the defender May entered. The young man greeted her. Where do you get these games? Where do so many new ideas come from? The woman was puzzled. Brian explained that this is an improved version of Heroes and Feats. He called it Journey into the World of Martial Arts. The defender liked the new name of the game. The whole master suddenly remembered that she had prepared a surprise for the young man. I promise to give you weapons. Look, will it fit? The girl took out a box from under the table. Opening the box, the hero discovered the cloud armor. Thin as the wings of a cicada, but perfectly protective. He was surprised by such a powerful thing. The system gave options. Option 1. It's too expensive. I can't accept it. The highest level reward of the yellow phase. Option 2. Ask what it is. Reward. Plaichiru. One random base attribute. What is this? The hero asked the master, after which he received plus one to cooking from the system. It's called Sky Feather Armor, Black Phase Defense. Shima answered the question. Why the head of the hall called it the protection of the Black Phase, he did not understand because it was called the Cloud Armor. Maybe I wanted to add pathos? Impressive, huh? Shima was proud of herself, but she immediately changed her face because she could only borrow the reservation and not give it as a gift. Brian was not embarrassed by this. He said that he would not accept such an expensive gift. After the competition, he promised to give it back. The strength of this weapon depends on the strength of the wearer. Since you are weak, it will manifest itself by 10%, but even in this case, it will not allow you to be wounded by a warrior below the black phase. The hallmaster added information. Brian thanked her for such generous help and said goodbye. The day has come to meet in the village of Anlian. Lana, as promised, was already waiting for the hero near the pavilion. They greeted each other upon meeting. The girl was grateful to him for agreeing to come. But the young man did not understand what she could learn from him with such high achievements in calligraphy. She took these words as incredible praise and almost fainted with joy. Brian asked Lana to show her work. They sat down at the table. The girl opened the scrolls. 
The elder brother looked at them and found her writing quite beautiful. Brian made his own adjustments, adding a new type of spelling. When he showed his work to the girl, she was delighted with the elegance and uniqueness of this masterpiece. They studied a little more. Brian gave her valuable comments and instructions. Two hours later, Lana thanked her older brother for the enlightenment. The reward for help was a body mirror, the mirror of blood circulation. It absorbs the poison contained in the enemy's attacks or weapons. The thing is quite rare. It seems even a family one. But since the system was silent, he decided to accept it without any problems. Having received the weapon, he said goodbye to the beauty and asked to go their separate ways for the sake of secrecy. The possessed girl was crazy about so many words spoken by her brother. It seemed to her that this was that same sublime love. To celebrate, the girl out of habit wanted to roll the table. But she stopped. Because this is the place of their first date, it cannot be destroyed. Lana took another look at her older brother's work and decided upon her return to rewrite this calligraphy 800 times. Meanwhile, in the hall of the water mirror, there was a bustle since the morning. The triplets wanted to tell urgent news to their sister Sarah. The girls grabbed her by the arms and pulled her towards the list of participants. They tried to show her that her older brother Brian would be competing in junior competitions. Sarah finally found his name on the list with her eyes. She certainly didn't expect to find him there. They could not believe that the brother himself agreed. Apparently he was forced. Since his name is on the list, he will definitely come there. The triplets were interested in what Sarah would do, because she was not included in the list. The girl was confused, but the sisters suggested discussing everything with Amelia. Brian admired his new weapon and hid it in a secluded place. At that moment, a flash of energy and power exploded from the room in which the closed cultivation of Un was taking place. Brian was glad that he managed to break through so quickly. Big brother, I did it. Happy and proud of himself, Un ran out. The young man stood in front of the door and looked at him. Have you been guarding me here all the time? The baby shed a tear. He already began to bow to him and thank him. But Brian didn't want this snot, so he said that he just heard a noise and came to check. I am very grateful that you installed an array, thanks to which I managed to break through. Continued to thank Brother Un. Although he is cold on the outside, he is a very caring older brother at heart. Brian knew the useful and strong sides of his array, so he had no doubts about its effectiveness. Our hero began to list the many ingredients he spent on his younger brother. Un promised to collect them all and return them. Brian asked him how he was feeling. The kids said that the mystical pneuma inside him was very pure and even the cultivation method began to activate faster and the rest would be visible in battle. The hero invited his brother to spar with him, but Un refused because he still wanted to enjoy the feeling of power a little. Brian told him to return to his hall and tell the head the good news or brag to his peers and handed his younger brother a list of necessary materials for the search. Un understood and accepted everything. Harmony and order reigned in the hall of the water mirror. Only Master Shima disturbed Brian's peace by asking for a favor in the morning. Do you remember Iris from the Red Cloud sect who was here before? So I'm friends with her master. She sometimes comes to pick up gifts for him. Brian didn't really listen and tried to continue going about his business, but Shima hung on his shoulders and asked him not to leave. You yourself said that in the game journey into the world of martial arts, the more players, the better. Since May doesn't want to, can Iris join? The system window immediately appeared. Option 1. Agree. Reward of the highest level of the black phase. Option 2. Absolutely not. Reward plus 1. Random base attribute. Brian was embarrassed by the constant clash with such a dangerous young lady. Absolutely not, the hero said firmly and confidently. Come on, please allow me. If she behaves badly, I will immediately kick her out, the head of the hall begged. Madam, did you tell her something about me? The young man asked. Shima denied this. Will you agree if I continue to tell her nothing? The master continued to look for ways to get his consent. Absolutely not. He stood his ground. Shima asked why he doesn't like making new friends so much. Brian made it clear that when he expects something from people, he is always disappointed, and he is not interested in new connections. The young man's deep words touched the hallmaster to the depths of his soul. So will you play or not? Brian took out the game. Of course I will, Shima shouted joyfully. Meanwhile, Maurice returned. The disciples of the sect joyfully greeted him, not allowing him to pass, because he justified the title of the Thousand Year Palm and was the most reliable disciple of the Contemplation sect. Having dealt with the fans, he intended to find his older brother Brian. How was the trip? 
having met his younger brother on the back mountain, the hero asked. He replied that he had not disgraced him and had brought everything he needed. Okay, great job as always, the young man praised the pupil. Maurice was a newcomer whom our hero trained three years ago. He has neither the support of a powerful family nor the potential. His behavior in the sect was even somewhat similar to Brian's behavior. Later during training, he demonstrated the calmness and flexibility that his older brother appreciates. Brian deliberately assigned the team to him in order to test his leadership qualities and was not disappointed. After all, Maurice took good care of his comrades. Therefore, our hero decided to take him as his confidant. Later Brian gave him tasks and tested him many more times. The result pleased him. And most importantly, the system did not react to it at all, which meant that it was completely safe. Our hero told Maurice about his strength and plans and offered him a job. Without asking anything more, the younger brother immediately recognized Brian as his mentor. Smart kid, doesn't show his intelligence and maintains a low profile. Well done. In short, our hero instructed his younger brother to exchange unnecessary things for weapons or pills. Boris coped well with all the tasks assigned. He also managed to make excellent use of the resources provided, build relationships and develop a large trading network. Having finished with the memories, Brian notified his brother that he had installed an array in a new cultivation site and said that he could go there to cultivate. Maurice bowed in gratitude. Although Maurice is smarter than his peers, he is not particularly good at cultivation. He had only reached the second stage of the black phase after three years of effort, but he never admitted defeat and always worked hard, cultivating even while completing tasks. Elder brother, there is news. I have found a house in Jinyao City with rich spiritual energy, according to your wishes. Maurice turned to him. Brian was delighted, but decided that first he would rest, and tomorrow they would go to look at the house. The kid agreed without objection. In the morning, as agreed, the guys were already on their way to the city of Jinyao. A little tired on the journey, the younger brother decided to take a recovery pill. But our hero stopped him. In exchange, he offered a green spiritual pill that he made himself. Compared to the wood pill before, this one not only restores strength, but also speeds up the recovery of mystic Numa. Maurice thanked his brother and took a new pill. He immediately felt this amazing effect. His strength returned and his body was like new. Are you going to sell it? I know a lot of cultivators who need it. Maurice put forward another business plan. Yes, but now I don't have enough materials yet, so we'll talk about it later. Brian said without explaining the details. After all, no one knew that he used exquisite jade. Your pills are always shocking. You are the best alchemist in the world. The kid sincerely praised his older brother. Don't suck up. There's only one bottle of these pills. The hero took the words of his younger brother as flattery. It's just a pity that such a large number of wonderful pills do not affect my lame cultivation. Brother Eun is really cool. He even managed to break through again. Maurice lost faith in himself for a moment. Have you seen Una? asked the older brother. Yes, he came yesterday and gave me a lot of good things, saying that you asked to sell them. The guy answered. Brian warned that he should be very careful about selling these things. But Un had already warned his younger brother about this earlier. Someone gave me a book with a special cultivation method. You can try it when you get back. Maybe it will suit you. Brian entered into the position of his brother. He thanked him for his concern. After a while, they reached their intended goal. They were met by a servant, bowed and asked to enter. This house belongs to a master in the black phase. But since I moved, I decided to sell it. Brian was still waiting for a signal from the system. He even froze for a minute, but Maurice called out to him. Since the system is silent, it means buying a house is safe. Brian was even a little happy. Our hero immediately expressed interest and wanted to meet with the owner as quickly as possible to discuss the details and look at the source of spiritual energy. The servant said that the owner would be there at six in the evening and suggested organizing a meeting today. Brian agreed and said that he wanted to look around a little before the meeting. The servant did not object. And in the evening, the owner of the house appeared and the servant kindly invited the guests to enter. They greeted each other. Our hero sensed the fifth level of the black phase. In the contemplation sect, this man would be a legend. The servant took his leave and went about his business. My name is Phil, a disciple of the Cloud Sect. The owner introduced himself. My name is Lau, a disciple of the Willow Sect. Brian gave fake information for security, then straight to the point, a source of spiritual energy about ten steps in size. How much are you willing to pay for it? Asked Phil, sitting at the conference table. Brian figured that 10 steps is not a lot, but not a little. 
In general, it's normal. What do you prefer, energy stones or something else? The young man asked confidently and with experience. Phil was pleased with such straightforwardness, so he said that he prefers energy stones, but if there are unique weapons or treasures, then he is ready to reduce the price. Brian asked what type of weapon he liked best. He answered immediately and without thinking. Saber. The hero was embarrassed by such a long silence of the system. Had luck really turned his face towards him? Maybe this will interest you? Brian put one interesting thing on the table. It was a unicorn skeleton saber. The blade was made of star steel. If you introduce your Numa into it, the force will double. Wow, this is truly star steel. Its creator must be an outstanding gunsmith. I have trained with sabers all my life, and this one is truly magnificent, the owner of the house noted. This is a double saber, and since you like them, I'll exchange them for a house, don't you agree? The young man voiced his demands. Of course, now I will take you to that very place, said Phil. The guys followed the owner of the house, looking at everything around. Brian thought along the way. This energy collection array looked good. It seemed like it was installed by a powerful master. Phil finally led them to the place where the energy originated. Our hero appreciated the flow and considered this deal profitable. Looks like you liked it. Shall we make a deal? The owner asked slyly. Brian agreed and handed him the sabers. This crazy man suddenly struck the hero in the chest, expecting that he would cause significant damage to the young man. But nothing happened, and there was a silent pause. They looked at each other with confusion. What are you doing? Brian was indignant. Phil clearly expected that the young man would now die from his powerful technique, but somehow it didn't work out. There are still many surprises in him. Our hero concluded that this patient is not very strong, so the system does not see him as a threat. And you are good. I hit you with all my might and your organs are now in agony. The owner of the house gloated. Alas, I'm neither cold nor hot from your blow. I just don't understand the reason for the attack. If you want more energy stones, I'll give you more. Brian tried to understand his motives. Stop showing off. Phil took out his sword and stood in a stance. In appearance, he was quite strong and was at the top of the black phase. But the system is silent. Remember the blow that will send you to hell is called the Thunder of the Underworld. This eccentric shouted pathetically. Brian caught the direction of the attacker's sword with his eyes, and he deftly avoided the blow, but his headdress was slightly damaged. Phil, who had spent all his strength on him, was shocked. After all, he could not understand how this was possible. But our hero grieved more through his hat, which was slightly damaged. How so? Why are you alive? Who the hell are you? The swindler was indignant. He immediately caught himself thinking that he couldn't handle such an opponent, and he needed to run away, urgently. Brian was also a little confused, and I couldn't understand why the system didn't intervene, and he shoved it all down to luck. Did you decide to rob us and take our sabers because you mistook us for weaklings? The hero calmly suggested. He became nervous, but the young man allowed him not to be ashamed of his sins. Without any words, Phil took the poison and took it. Brian clearly did not expect such a turn. Killed yourself without even trying to survive? Dumb or determined? I don't even know. The hero looked at the swindler's body, unoffered to quietly fill up the second one, hiding the servant. But Brian forbade it. He ordered him to give the money to the servant and say that the transaction was successful.